<laughs> and hello, everybody. I am Robert Aducci, and I am here with, look at all these folks, Greg Gordon, Daryl Harris, Ross Watson. Welcome, everyone. Hey, thanks. Thank Happy to be here. You. Yeah, we are here to play Blood on the Blasted Land, the first part of it. Um, so let's, uh, I'll, I'll just give it right over to Greg. Thank you. Yes, this is our mega adventure for the Tharkold uh, crowdfunding. Uh, this pack was written by Brian Reeves. It's uh, jam-packed, shall we say. So let's get right to it. So let's introduce our characters. So the Dinos Optant is being played by Ross Watson. The Electric Samurai by Robert Aducci. And the Relic Raider by Daryl Hayhurst. It belongs in a museum. <laughs> <laughs> So the scene opens in Director Hans Gruber's office in the <laughs> Delphi Council you know, stronghold in Germany. And the first thing that is noticed is the electric samurai notices somebody's been reverse engineering Kanoa technology as he is busy using touch implementation of holographic displays to start going through the briefing. And he's like, thank you for coming on such short notice. Um, we've lost a team, and we're hoping you can find them for us. He pulls up a picture, sort of looks like Terry Crews in a Stetson hat, well-muscled black man. He says, this is Commander Saber. We're looking for he and his company, Saber Company. They disappeared while looking into smuggling operations inside of Tharkold and sent a distress signal about, unfortunately, three days ago. So we are hoping that you can uh, retrieve them and the rest of his team. He clicks, this is Miss Quincy. She's a detective from Aurorsh. Clicks the next one. This is Lyrian, elven Irish mage, the one we're most interested in retrieving personally, as he's been doing experiments with our clothing magic that we find would be interesting. Clicks Aleka, our Dinos warrior. Toxuko, their expert pilot. We'll be sending you to the core city of Perm. There, you'll meet with, I have to say, not one of our best stocked Delphi offices, run by Dennis Kazakov. Um, he will explain how to get into the blasted lands, and hopefully from there, you'll make your way to Voitkinsk which is where we received the distress signal. So Anisha knows way more about geography and modern uh, culture and history than I do. What does she know about Perm? It's about 1,300 kilometers east of Moscow on the Kama River. So it's you know, the part of the, the economy that goes directly to the Caspian. So it's, it's Cold pretty far. Cold want a boat. <laughs> It's pretty far, pretty far east. Basically, the Kama River is pretty close where Perm is to the Stellite demarcation line. You cross the river, you're in Tharkold. But Kinsk is about 30 kilometers southwest, and you uh, you can get there. You know by the options that Director Karzakov will, will uh, explain to you. Well, my Tharkold's sister. very dangerous. Many dead <laughs> things there. Just as long yeah. as those dead things aren't us. Yeah. We'll My be... specialty is relics a thousand years old, not, you know, people three days missing, but I'll try. <laughs> well, I don't know I if I can find them, but I can cut through someone, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate your flexibility, Anisha. But we'll find that there may be other artifacts that you want to recover in there. We understand that things are popping up. So if you could recover some of those, that would perhaps be more of your skill set. Also, um, we'll be giving you cold weather gear. Make sure it's operational. It is expected to be somewhere around negative 37 centigrade. That will do some damage. You get to break archetype and wear pants. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds cold. Pants and parka, the new fashion <laughs> Nothing so, like the living land, cold, blasted wastes. 
Yes. Far from Lanala, it is. That is where. Well, sorry, Moonwalker, but you'll be able to uh, extend life to those who need it inside the Blasted Lands. And we can assume there are quite a few. Any other questions before I book you on your charter flight? What were they? What were they doing? <laughs> they were initially investigating and breaking up a smuggling ring and looking to take, um, shall we say, <laughs> control of the ring for our purposes. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, do we know anybody that they were investigating specifically that we can follow up with? No, because this mission was pretty much a... Saver Company specializes in missions where we know almost nothing at the start. And they just discover it as they go. Um, so we're assuming they discovered something larger than they could handle. Uh, apparently we, we specialize in that too. <laughs> well, <laughs> on, only as a, you've inherited the incomplete <laughs> investigation. Uh, I apologize for that. We usually have a little more intelligence. But Dennis may have more information when you get to Perm. And if not, very best in discovering what you need as soon as you need it. By then, too late it may be. <laughs> Do we have any contacts in the area? Uh, if you've got a connections card or some such, yeah. Not at the moment. How about a safe house? Um, the, the, basically, you're going to perm to talk to the the, the Delphi Council operative there, who's Denise Kosikoff. Got it. They'll so have, that that uh, is our contact. Yeah, and perfect. he probably probably knows who the who the contacts they have are in Droidkinsk. But that's not something that's not something uh, we tend to share over broadcast channels given sure, Tharkold's sure. capabilities. Yep. So uh, quick out of character question. I have a Cosm card that says play immediately when drawn. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> but also technically is- since we're not in Tharkold yet. You yep. wouldn't be dealt that card until we cross the border. Right. I, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm pointing it out now right. for when that happens. Yes. You'll, yeah. When you cross the Kama River uh, journey into Tharkold, yes, you can surprise your fellow players by saying, hello. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Um, before we go, I think I'd like to attempt a requisition. All right. What are you attempting to requisition? I think a Laws Rocket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Streetwise DN14, go! Streetwise. Okay, no Streetwise, so let's use my Charisma. Sure. 14, submit. Oh, it's a 13. Oh. I am going to spend the possibility. I'm going to spend the possibility. that law rocket. I do. Uh, last roll was a 19. There we go, 17. I'll take a Lyle's rocket, just in case. <laughs> so, basically, uh, Hans Gruber says, we're sorry, we, we don't allow such armaments. And as you're walking out to the airway, one of the mechanics just rolls one out to you. <laughs> it's off the books. Right, <laughs> yeah, set that in the backpack, and uh, I thought so. <laughs> just uh, keep it quiet, okay? They're, they're kind of in high demand with the Techno Demons. Yeah, totally get that. Thanks. Whatever I need, the goddess shall provide. And he goes, well, just in case. He hands you an extra first aid kit. Ooh. All right. I do not turn it down. <laughs> yeah. So the flight is uneventful, which means it's dreadful because you're traveling basically across reality boundaries for about two-thirds of the flight, bouncing first out, out of course, briefly crossing into Isle, out of Isle into Tharkal, out of Tharkal into Corrth. So it is just, you know, when you, it's, it's a kiss the tarmac kind of landing. I, I spend the whole time wishing I would, I had uh, requisitioned a parachute in case the plane disconnects and <laughs> you know, transforms into a boat or something. You know? <laughs> yes. Fortunately, we're not in that part of the adventure yet. <laughs> you, you, you can't yes. die in the introduction, one hopes. <laughs> Brian, come so, on, kill him in the intro. Yeah. What am I telling you? Problem. 
Oh, so I can fucking shut up my phone. I probably can't, but I'll give it a try. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to meditate during the flight. Okay. Nope, it won't silence. Okay. So get, that's 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 what I get from Lidala as an answering machine. <laughs> yeah. <All right. laughs> cool. you, have, you can make a faith roll. I'm go ahead and try to meditate. Let's see if you can get. All right. Uh, hmm. How do you make a skill roll? Exactly? Stick on the skill on the sheet. On the sheet. So you should have faith on there, sort of towards the bottom. Uh, yeah. Uh, remember, it'll ask for the modifier. Uh, yeah, it's, I, I can, so I click on the total. On the name. The, the, yeah, it's the name. Yeah, it's not working. There's a modifier window that probably popped up asking. No. I can try and refresh it, I suppose. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Right? <laughs> Thanks, yeah, mine, Roy. Mine popped up, <laughs> uh, but like the modifier windows and then like a, Exactly. It can hide depending on what you're what you're stacking your windows with. Okay. Well, I just have the character sheet open. Really, is the only thing. So yeah, I might want to maybe move the character sheet out of the way a little bit. See if it pops up. Yeah, it's uh, it's letting me click on the two numbers, the mod and the total, and I get a little red flash through on the total. Yeah, so. yeah. You don't want to click on the numbers. You want to click on the name. Yeah, that's not doing anything. I can roll a d20, though, because I have one. <laughs> Go right ahead. All right. Uh, I even have uh, the Torg uh, uh, special die. So, yeah, I'm doing okay. So let's see if I open up my... Let's see. Just need to get the chart open. Okay. So rolling and that is a mm -hmm, that's a two. It's not great. It's a minus eight, so that'd be a total of a six on the faith. So apparently, she's decided that the trial of air sickness is one you must endure. <laughs> so it is how we prove ourselves to the goddess yeah. that we are fit to survive. It's a, definitely a new sensation. <laughs> <laughs> you land in Perm, you're met by Dennis Karsakoff, who does not look a Delphi operative. He looks sort of like he should be working as one of the airline mechanics. He's got basically a jumpsuit. He's got a lot of cold weather gear on. He sort of nods gruffly, you come off the plane. And he says, well, welcome to Perm. Hope you don't freeze to death. Are you ready? Prepared, equipped. Uh, as we can be, yeah. The, yeah. the claw, the claw comes up, and I do this kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I apologize. Um, I personally recommended against this mission. I don't know whether we get a discount rate on caskets or something, but uh, sending the three of you in after we've already lost five. But I was overruled. But maybe you'll win. Never know. So the three Rob rounds. Booster? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can tell he is beaten down. It's he's been on the edge of Tharkold. It has not been going well for yeah, him. Yeah. So he's like, there are three methods in. You can just try to walk across the river. Probably the least noticeable, but this weather, probably not advised. When you say walk across the river, is the river frozen? Oh, yes. Okay. Because we do have someone with miracles, so maybe it wouldn't have to be. <laughs> oh, it's, we, can, we can drive light vehicles across at this point. So, Do we have a light vehicle? Um, unfortunately, I don't have one I can lend you. <laughs> well, supposedly, there's plenty you can scavenge on the other side. So when you get to Vrykinsk, I believe your contact, who is Madame Ognia, will have a vehicle for you. At least that's what they last reported. The problem is getting you into Vrykinsk. It is the start of the wastelands. There is a lot of trouble between here and there. So 
walking probably exposes you to much of that trouble. Um, a slightly more direct approach is a pipeline, an unused oil pipeline, but it's claustrophobic. And if there is trouble, there's really nowhere to go. Alternately, we can try to airdrop you in with our mighty Cessna 172. Um, that would be the quickest, but we know they patrol airspace above Voitkinsk. So it might be an even shorter trip. Like I said, we give you offers of many ways to die. So um, if we're talking about doing this on foot, what is the distance we're talking about covering here? Yeah. We'll drop you off in an abandoned mining town just across the river. So you're talking about 15 kilometers. 15 kilometers? Oh, brisk. <laughs> I vote we do the tunnel. That keeps the lowest profile and... Uh, 15 kilometers isn't too bad. We could do that in like a day. It's less if you take, if you, it's less if you take the pipeline. The pipeline's directly across from Vodkinsk. Mm. Even better. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Sounds good so, to me. All right. Pipeline it is. <laughs> we don't have a claustrophobic lizard that's like, no, <laughs> not a pipeline. <laughs> and so I have uh, faith that we will succeed. Where the others have failed. And, and Kreskov looks at you straight in the eye. And he, you can tell he's just about to say something, and then I hope you are correct. That would be a refreshing change. Your spirit has withered here, I tell him. I'll place a claw on his chest, and, and I'm going to cast healing. I know he's not actually hurt, but I just want to sort of channel some of that spiritual power so that he can see that there is a, a visible effect of faith. Ooh. This is a real, you know, it, take, it's, it's take, just kind of a feel-good moment, but. Take a possibility <laughs> for that. And let's see if you disconnect and explode. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'll, just, I'll just kind of say quietly, the goddess believes in you, too. And then I'll start walking towards the pipeline. Okay. So you got a 15. So that's actually a good result. Um, so when you're touching him, that failed meditation from before connects very briefly. And you see this monstrosity of a truck with gun turrets on it and driven by something that's probably a head and a half taller than you are with Somebody strapped to the front of the truck that you can't quite identify, and then the vision shorts out. Mm. Dead things. I see visions of a vehicle, some sort of large truck, with a person strapped across the front and a driver, a monstrously strong and powerful driver. Ooh. <laughs> Cars come like she just... And that's supposed to be encouraging. Thank, thank, thank you. But that's going to be our truck. It's going to be great. <laughs> Before thank, we go thank. into the pipeline, I'd actually like to get a map of the pipeline and anything he's got. Like, um, if there's, if it's, you know, just point A to point B, or if there's runoffs or escape valves or anything like along the way. I want to, I want to have a map of that. It, it's an oil pipeline. So there is refinery to storage depot. There is supposed to be no points you know, of entry in between. Because you know, Kuskoff's pretty sure they've had breaches by this point, but there's nothing on the map that goes, you know, because pretty, you know, oil flowing through doesn't want any way to go other than its destination. So, But there's no like maintenance stuff or anything like that along the route? No. Great. Let's do it then. Yeah. Oh. So, um, and I assume there's no oil in it right now. <laughs> there's been oil in it for almost eight years. Great. I don't the know only if I thing that's come out recently. for 15 kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> right. That would make yeah. it tougher. Like, I know you can still do it. But... We, we suspect it's almost it's empty because we've had refugees come across the other way. Great. Now, there's still, like, some residue in there, probably, like, 
little patches of it probably could be yeah i i, I just want to smear my hand in some of it and hold it up black blood of the earth <laughs> okay so i assume we montage to the entrance of the oil uh, oil <laughs> Where you've got the Adenos testing the sample of the slick, and it's um dark. That's I got what a flashlight. You, that's right. That's what you describe it as. Just super, super dark. So oh. you get the. It's only. It's not quite two meters tall, so it's claustrophobic all the way around. You've got about three and a half meters of three and a half kilometers of pipeline to negotiate through. And who would like to give me a find roll? I will. I'll go first. Now, is go this pipeline it. in Tharkold or is this how we get into Tharkold? This is how you get into Tharkold. You, it's okay. how you get across the river, a bunch of other stuff. Okay. My result is a nine. Yeah, so not much. Electric Samurai, do you care to make a find roll? Sure. My result is an eight. Eight. Cool. So, yeah, uh, fl flashlight on. You know, I'll lead, and I'm waving everybody forward. And we're just trying to make time through here. Yeah, and um, being inside a metal tube in the middle of winter, definitely not warm. <laughs> After a while, you learn you don't want to touch the sides because it just sucks heat out of you. So it just sent you basically take fatigue if you brush against the metal too much, so you're avoiding that as much as possible. And then you hear the sound of claws. Like, Not my claws, but other I say, claws. I look at the Adinas. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> and then a smell arrives. So you're guessing they've lived here a while. It smells like you're coming up in a, some kind of nest. And after a while, you can flash. You're not sure. It looks like the entire pipeline is moving. And it's like, oh. So, why don't we flip over a card? <laughs> I know. I'll turn the flashlight off, then they can't see us. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, this will be quick. <laughs> Into the fire. Villains get to go first. And then they flurry. What you see oh, nice. is... A rat swarm. And in Tharkol, these things are about 20 meters to a side with maybe 2,000 rats. Mm. And they are just pouring, and you can't tell where they're coming from. And they just cover you. So they get to steal a, an item every round. So the thing they're going to take this round is your flashlight. So you get to operate <laughs> into darkness. And uh, then uh, what, are the, what are the toughnesses of my heroes? My toughness is working eight. Eleven. Uh, Thirteen. Okay. Nice. So the electric samurai takes one shock. The other two of you take two shock. Ow. Ow. That's all they do. And then it's your turn and you get to go twice. And is this, are we trying to get through them? How is this go? What is... What's if our objective they're, here? They're 20 meters thick. Going through them is you have to basically beat the strength of the of the swarm. So you can do that, particularly since you've got two actions, or you try to get enough kills that they become disinterested. Yeah, I so I think rather than trying to kill like a gazillion rats, she's trying to do like the like a tomb raider like 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 acrobatic bolt, like to get up past the swarm, you know, because they clearly have some kind of nest she wants to try and get past that or All possibly right. go after her flashlight <laughs> since it's okay. probably still visible and moving around in the swarm. Yeah, it's, 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 it's the only point of light. It's pretty visible. So, um, yeah, I think more than anything, she'd be going after the flashlight. She wants okay. That. So just give me a willpower test first okay. or mind if you don't have it. Uh, would that be spirit or mind? Oh, uh, spirit. Sorry. Spirit. Spirit is being rolled. The result is a 12. Oh, that's fine. Um, once you get over the sort of repugnance of it, using the rats themselves as handholds, 
makes this less <laughs> difficult terrain. You can basically climb the rats if you don't mind squishing and grabbing a few because there are points where the mass is solid enough to move over. So you can go down, retrieve your flashlight, and then I need you to make a maneuver roll to escape the I horde. Mean, yeah, maneuver is something of her specialty. That's a terrible roll. I'm going to spend a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we start with three, right? We start with yep. three. Yeah. So, Maru, what are you uh, trying to do? Oh, I forgot to add the base in there. Total roll 10. So I barely got a 10 with the possibility, but yikes. So you'll be moving out next round. Okay. You figured out how I, to move through them. If I can go before Maru, I'd like to do, I, I know what I want to do. Yeah. So what does, what do you want to do there? Move on. I want to uh, reach out and tap my uh, claw against Maru's katana. And say, the goddess blesses you in destroying these vermin. I'm going to cast Strike. All right. So that would be a willpower roll. Or, uh, sorry. Faith. A faith roll, yeah. Which I do know how to do. And uh, didn't get too great on that. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, possibility that one. All right. Oh, that didn't work out right. Sorry. You gotta put in the old roll. I forgot. Yeah. To two. Okay. Okay. So last roll is a two. Okay. So there we go. So the result is a fourteen. Okay. And uh, strike uh, strikes difficulty is a twelve. So it's just the standard success there. Um, however, I will play uh, willpower as a card. <laughs> Okay. Uh, which will pump that to a 17, which is 5 over, which makes it a good success. All right. And that means that, uh, Maru, your, your katana is plus 2 damage value for the next 3 rounds. All right. Ooh, getting rid of more rats. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I guess I will do my thing. And uh, as, as they kind of start to kind of swarm around us, I want to sort of, like, make a, uh, you know, uh, like, like like make a circle just like cutting like in a, in a almost like a whirlwind around us as we kind of move forward to try to get through them. Okay. So give yourself a, a melee test. All right. And then so new weapons with no modifier. So that's a 17. Ooh, plus you're going to shoot in the damage result. Okay. So you're going to, basically it turns out that wounding or swarm doesn't do you any good. Mm -hmm. Shock is what you're looking for. Yeah, you killed the hell out of like a rat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that, that, that's well, no, because that's so with plus two. So yeah, you clear a path. They're extremely unexcited about facing that katana of yours, and it seems that the bless has given you a little more oomph. The strike on your blaze giving you a little more oomph than you'd expect against these things. So faith apparently is effective. So you just carve a path, and so assuming you do that with your second action, you can clear the swarm. Okay. Woo! -hoo! There we go. Thank you. So drop drop a card into your pool, just in case, because they got one more shot at trying to get you guys. Right. Sorry, where do you say drop a card into your pool? What do you mean? Yeah, in your hand, you've got four destiny cards. Yeah. You, you, you know, at the end of your action, you get to play one into your what's called your action pool. It's, oh, right. it's there on the roll 20 thing. Yeah. Once it's in the pool, you can use it. All right. There you go. Mm -hmm. Second chance is a great pick. Yep. And Ross, you actually spent your willpower card. So where does it go? Just, just click on it and then delete. Just the delete key on your keyboard. <laughs> There you go. Okay. So you guys get to go first. I, I predict it's a sad, sad day for the swarm rats. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if we get to go first, I will just kind of do the same thing. Just kind of yeah, they're down they're 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 going to be extremely unhappy. So before you do that, actually, so what I want to do, I want to try and trick them. 
and uh, like I want to try and like vault up from where I was and you know like lock my legs into a like a pipe along the top so I can hang there a little bit rat free. I want to be using the flashlight to try and round them around Maru where she's gonna strike, hoping to confuse them or make them more vulnerable or so forth. Yeah, I'll believe it. Awesome. Now we'll roll a trick. My result is an eight. That does not quite trick the rats. Okay, uh, I'm not going to let that go. Okay. Close, though. All right. So who wants, who wants to go next? I think it's going to be Robert with his uh, attacks. Uh, I just wanted to say in my head, this is kind of awesome because there's no light. There's just the sparks coming off the katana hitting the walls of the the inside of the pipe as he's like spiraling his way through these freaking rats. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maru looks pretty impressive because the, the trick, even though it didn't work, you've got all these little spots of light from Anisha's flashlight so it's, you know, bouncing off of her on the floor as well as the sparks from the katana. So it's just like this weird disco of death action <laughs> yes, going on exactly the electric samurai. Go ahead and go ahead and swing there, Maru. All right. And an, oop, an eight. Not that great, huh? Wow. No. Roll 20 dice. Hate us. Yeah, uh, that's, a, that's unfortunately a, a, a no-go. So uh, they're going to get... Can I do my second chance? You absolutely can. All right. So it says immediately attempt an action. The new yep. test takes place. So I just get to roll yep. it again, basically? Yeah, just roll it again. Yep. Yep. All right. Looks like a 12. A little bit better. Oh, yeah. That, well, that's... Yes. <laughs> There's a difference between failure and success. <laughs> and when you hit, again, you have that spark coming from your blade as you clear that, you know, just basically grace, graze the pipeline. And then when it hits the rats, there's additional like flashes, like little pops. It's got to be from the miracle. And you just see the rats scatter and they decide they've had just enough. You are not, you are not you know, on the lunch menu any longer. So they flee the other direction. And you sort of crunch across their nest and get out of the trap. Cool. Right. Yeah, I'll like, like jump back down from the ceiling, kind of superhero land, and go, well, at least they weren't tarantulas that size. I've had that happen before. <laughs> <laughs> so as you exit the... I'm going to pull a rat off the back of Anisha <laughs> and just drop it on the ground. Yeah. She's like, yeah, you do it. Like, <laughs> Fair enough. So it takes a while to get out of the pipeline. You figure that the reason the refugees haven't been coming through the other way is it is just caked in ice. It takes you probably about half as long to whack through the ice as it did to walk the three kilometers. Shing, I got a machete just for this. That's right. <laughs> Anisha's happy. She gets to use her multi-tool. There's even a so. picture of me doing this. <laughs> I have one brand. <laughs> there you go. My kind were not made for such temperatures. No, they, they really weren't. And uh, I need everybody to make a strength roll, please. Is it strength or survival? Survival if you've got it. I've got it. I don't want to use that. Yeah. Well, I guess you would. That's a terrible roll, but on the bright side, because I've got my machete, it's favored, so I get to try it again. Yes, you do. I got a 13. Much better. 18, I... the second one. So, yeah, you, you both, both the electric samurai and the relic raider shrug off the cold. But it's one of those things of, like, you know, Maru takes the unpatched eye and has to sort of you know, pry the frost off of it and get it open. <laughs> so... Moonwalker is frozen solid. He's just like... (laughs) So you take two shock, but since it's from the frigid conditions, you can't recover the shock until you find a source of warmth. Mm. So you start your trek across the snow, lightly numb and cold. So Vrykinsk is an abandoned industrial city you are supposed to find the Greek Orthodox Church, like that would be easy to find. It turns out it is. 
its spire is probably the third tallest thing in this city. So even from the outskirts, you can see it there towards the south. Yes. Are we Mr. in Tharkold? You are in Tharkold. Well, I have a card that says play when drawn on my console. So as we enter Tharkold, uh, Torturous Visions is my card. Hmm. The party experiences psychic flashes of grim potential futures. For the rest of the act, if fatigue appears on the conflict line, the characters are also stymied, and psionicists are very stymied. Nice. All Storm Knights gain one possibility, Ooh. or two, mm -hmm. if they have the psion uh, psionics perk. I'll take nice. that possibility. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and, I'll get... and because I played that card, you get to describe our cool grim visions. But I'm also going to play Attuned, which lets me draw a new Chrism card. All right. Get you a new Chrism card. I'll just have to put it on here. Otherwise, I have to deal. So just grab that card. Yeah. Well, I want to take my... No. So radiated is my new card. All right. All right. You can just click, right click on it to pick it up, Ross. Put it I have it. Hands. I have it. Yep. Okay. Cool. I think while we're doing card management, I'm going to go ahead and discard my romance card because I think right. uh, Nisha's all business on this one. I'll take the possibility in a new draw. Okay. It looks like I can draw myself, so you don't have to do it. So yep. Will, How do you draw? Just click on the deck, if like on the Destiny one. Ooh. Or just mouse over chance. it, and then you can click draw. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Dude. Take the possibility for that. Because he's just here on business. No time for romance. So, since Ross played the card, I'm sure... The vision that makes sense is you're coming in sort of from a drone level view onto a ramshackle camp that's got you know, consignature wire and a bunch of concrete obstacles on the gate and then a tall effigy tower and strapped to that tower being pecked at by crows is a very, very weak at DNFs. It's got to be a Leka. From the group, and it's still alive, but the clock's ticking. Mm. Mm. We must and we, hurry, and we all kind of see that and are like a little yeah. discombobulated by it. Like, oh, yeah, it's like, oh, what, did, what just happened? Oh. Mm -hmm. This is uh, we see this inside this in your mind, in your mind. You're basically just temporarily, you get this little oh, okay, psychic gotcha. vision. Yeah, because Ross played the, the divisions card, mm -hmm. and in Tharkold, there's a lot of psychic activity, right. including stuff that you could just describe as free floating, you know, mm -hmm. without really any source of just creepy, spooky stuff that can happen to you. I'm also uh, I'm going to discard Martyr <laughs> and get what? a possibility. Oh, <laughs> a bad move. Bad oh. move. All right. So discarding that. Oh. If only I had a master plan, I would pick that and steal that immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Survival is so overrated. Right? <laughs> so you get, when you get close to the church, it's the first people you've seen. You've seen like people furtively duck in and out of buildings as you're walking down the streets. So maybe one out of every 30 buildings is inhabited. That's about it. Marauders or other sorts of riffraff, and then you see, his, and he walks up to you, and he hands Anisha a piece of paper that has Cyrillic writing on it. Do you happen to have languages? Uh, I do not have the languages perk, uh, nor does she know Russian. Cool. So there's indecipherable Russian writing on the. She goes. <laughs> she looks at it and is like, "I mean, I'm grateful, but I don't actually read Russian." <laughs> <laughs> Do you have something in a Hindi, perhaps? <laughs> um, Maybe canoe form or... <laughs> so, Madam Onya, 
needs points to the paper. And Madam Money um, was supposed to be our contact, right? Yeah. She is whom we seek. So they'll, they'll do a little desperate combo to get somebody who finally speaks a little bit of English. And or Hindi, thank you. Or Hindi. <laughs> <laughs> So I also speak English. But... I'll have to. I'll just roll a bonus. See which one you're getting. <laughs> well, looks like you're getting Hindi. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So he comes up and and sort of broke says, "I'm sorry, friend. Nothing is free. If Kartikov didn't explain this to you, that's on him." But before you can see Madame Ona, you must get her and just piece of paper and points the word crystal. There's a chop shop in the center of town where we think you can get this crystal. And you said nothing here is free. How are we? Are we to trade for this crystal or are we expected? I doubt that you are expected. They expect us to claim the crystal. From its current owners, no doubt. Obtain it however you can. Lev runs the chop shop. There may be barter. But if not, we still need you to obtain the crystal. Well, we're civilized. We'll, we'll obtain it and we'll trade for it. I just kind of look at Alicia for a few he, seconds. It's like a really, <laughs> really wolfish smile when you say civilized. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so are you, with that, they, they're pretty, pretty clear that they're not going to let you closer to the church. At that point, they start to show you that they have weapons. And so I was like, well, okay, guess we're not we're not getting any any room in there. So and it, again, it's just bitterly cold. Every time you like move from a building to even slightly open area, the wind hits you. you know, it's hard to keep your footing. Everything crunches, the sounds are all distorted. It's very strange walking along here. So Well, I guess we'll let's make our way to where we need to be as quickly as possible to get out of this wind. Yeah. She's like, and Nisha's like, it's not that bad. I've, I've been on Everest. <laughs> That's true. So you hear this after least, a few. At least it doesn't smell of defecation. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just be thankful for those for those small things. Nor is it littered with the corpses of those that preceded you. Yeah. So after a, after a few blocks, you hear this loud noise. And as you approach, eventually you can see this thing peeking up over the buildings. It's a huge machine, sort of double size of an you know, international harvester combine kind, type size and just crunching over buildings and then would, hoovering up pieces. I would like to hide, please. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I don't know, but I think <laughs> it's worth hiding from. <laughs> okay. Maru has, because... Maru has encountered some of the the edge between the Pan Pacifica and Tharkal before. Mm. These things are called synth cyclers. They're usually manned. They're usually manned by combat specialists. And they just hoover up everything, both living and inanimate, and to make other better weapons and machines from. Mm. I don't think we need, want to be anywhere near that. So you want to try to like, to stealth or such? I would like to very much. Yes. I will also gonna... hide. Okay, so who doesn't have stealth? I think I think you probably all I think have all it. three of us have it, yeah. All right, then just make the test. It's not super hard to make. A well, stand... when you say it like that, I'm sure I'll be... Oh, a 10! Yay! Yay. Well, ten's good enough. Yeah, it looks like 10, 11, and 16 are our results. So we yeah, got you can this. See because basically the, the specialists inside up top are really more concerned with keeping warm <laughs> than they are with keeping watch. Because really, 
if there's something wanting in the streets, it's just going to get hoovered up by the synth cycle. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. yeah, they yeah. don't care so much. Yeah, we don't yeah. have to try that hard here. I basically just pick up like a chunk of a billboard that used to advertise some sort of beer and just like, like lever it up in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> So they they just you know they see like you know the 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 tattered you know like image of you know a girl with a with a beer on the on the on the paint and behind it I'm just like this. <laughs> All right, <laughs> nice. <laughs> on brand for the DNOs. Okay, <laughs> so you just wait it out. It takes about twenty minutes to to pull out of sight. You continue on your way, and I would like some find rolls from awesome. you. Uh-oh. Good. Did not do so hot with this last time. Me either, but you know what? It sounds like we're after a crystal, which sounds Eight. kind of vaguely like a relic to me, which is on brand. So there 15. you go. <laughs> Thirteen for me. Eight for me. Okay, it looks like looks like a fifteen for the relic raider. Yeah. So relic raider, you kind of do the uh, hold up sign. Um, stuck in the rebel, on the edge where the synth cycler had been plowing. There are like these stakes with decomposed human skulls and all sorts of wire and writing, you know, down the side of it. It's like, huh. that, 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 yeah, that, doesn't, that can't be great. <laughs> I, I, so I warned you about this. <laughs> so, I mean, if, since it's not here, she's actually like going over and just like excavating it a little bit. She's like, well, I'm trained in archaeology. I want to see like what's going on here. Well, the thing, oh, first of all, because you did okay on the find roll, you suspect <laughs> these things are defensive mechanisms with a radius of some kind. Mm. How close do you want to get? <laughs> uh, I think she's curious enough to risk it. So she want like she is curious. She said they're they're stakes with skulls, but they're in the rubble, so they're buried. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, obviously carefully, but yeah, she wants to try and. Like, dig this up, see, is it a weapon? Is it something we can use? I'll, da, 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 da. I'll give it a maneuver roll. Awesome. See if this thing... That's incredibly kind of you. You are welcome. And then I'll make, my, I'll make my bonus roll and see if it knows what's going Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I'm sorry. Wow. It's legit. The so dice what, just love us today. <laughs> so what's your, what's your mind there, Anisha? So yeah, the thirteen. She's literally like going forward, and she's she's gonna do her archaeology job and like start That's moving right. some rubble aside and like investigating what this is, see if it's something we can use. Okay, so I would. So I still need to know what your mind is. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. My, I thought when you, I thought you meant in a general way. The, <laughs> what was her intention? Nine is her mind. Okay, so. Uh, you are going to take a wound and two shock. Well, I would but like it's to... non-lethal, but you just hurt. You hurt oh, if two... it's non-lethal, yeah, I'll take it. Yeah, she goes, oh. Is there some kind of psionic field or something? I mean, do we see anything happen? Or Basically, all you see is she just stops digging around the rocks and kind of shakes, but there's no visible motion of any kind. The only, only thing moving is Anisha. Mm. Hmm. And yes, that was a psychic attack. And after you hit that, you kind of get this little pulse from it. And you start looking around and going, holy moly, there may be 15 or 16 of these things buried along the path. Mm. So they look like psychic minds of some kind? Yeah, they look like, uh, they very much look like psychic minds with a Caltech boost to make them just hurt a little bit more. I'm going to try and get close to Anisha. Okay, so you sidle up basically probably stopping like two meters before where she is. Let's see, well, that's too close. I'll be here. Uh, I'll, I'll try to touch her with my tail. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> the Adenos backs it up into the rubble. Okay, and uh, what are you uh, trying to do, accomplish when you touch her with your tail? I will cast heal. All right. So that is a faith roll is and wow oh uh, yeah like that's you, you you are fully healed my friend <laughs> that's right i got no do. result which is three wounds and all shock so the you know the goddess protects you i will this out and 
your wounds are are dealt with. Again, though, it seems his call on faith is causing a reaction from the environment a little bit because Maru can see that when the tail touches Anisha, for a brief second, those other mines buried in the rubble become really visible to you. And you can see a path. <laughs> oh, basically nice. clear. <laughs> just like blink, like, oh, that's different. So <laughs> Maru can be the guide, and if she can make the if she can make the find roll, you'll just follow her through the through the debris. Alright, I will look around then. Let's see. Fifteen. Wow. Yeah, so you keep you instantly memorize the, the path because that's what you do. But as you're moving, it sort of feels like that path wasn't a hundred percent correct. So if I just step a little this way, if I just don't step on that ice, I step on this rock, and it but it makes intuitive sense to you. Something is just guiding you through that this is the correct way through this. And you clear the minefield. And oh, that looks like that would be the chop shop, because it has the sign with a buzzsaw out front. <laughs> Probably the chop shop. So Not before, the most welcoming of merchants. Before we go in there, does anyone have an idea on how we might be able to get some of these mines? Because then maybe we could trade them. Mm. Like, when I approach them, it zapped me, right? So, but maybe there's yeah. a way. You want to trade him one of these for crystal? Maybe lots of them. Why, what's to say he didn't place them here to protect his little establishment? Because he's a shop. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a shop. I, lo- I must have no customers. Otherwise, I, <laughs> I mean, I know in the living land, you guys don't have, you know, like free enterprise, but <laughs> <laughs> not sure they do in Tharkold either, so. We won't go you know, too deep into <laughs> economics, but I'm pretty sure he didn't mind his own place. Well, in Dark Old, it's Freakonomics. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know okay. what uh, skill that would be to well, disarm so I'm, a psychic I'm trap. It. This might be something that we can, like, this might be something that we can talk to him about. Like, this could be trade bait, right? Yeah, it's a good idea, because I was, I was trying to consider what we would have to trade, but hope it, well, I got my laws rocket, but I don't want to let it go. <laughs> All right, so you approach you approach the door. It basically looks like he's modified a bank vault door because it's circular and basically carved out enough wall to put the vault door in. And it's really not meant to be uh, inviting. It's just meant to be mine, right. my place. Mm-hmm. And it does have down oh. on a little piece of wire a primitive doorbell. Ah, oh, awesome. <laughs> I, ding dong, ding. And then you hear the mechanical rattling gears, <laughs> chains. <laughs> and only gets you about two thirds of a meter opening. That's as far <laughs> as it opens. And you hear, come in. It's cold out there. Yes. Let us meet this vault dweller. So. All of you squeeze in. Um, not the brightest of illumination, but as soon as you step inside, it becomes apparent that the chop shop is not cyberware. It's human parts. Mm-hmm. It is, I have a special on forearms. Do you require anything in particular today? Two are sufficient for me. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 ha. Humor. I miss it. So, if that's sufficient, what can I interest you in? I'm short on livers. I'm sorry. Well, I'll introduce myself. You know, I'm I'm uh, Anisha. Um, I'm here looking to trade for a particular crystal that I was told that you have. Ah, well, I am Lev, and he bows on one leg. His other leg looks deformed. And when he bows on the one leg, the other leg, skin just kind of shifts and ripples. And it kind of moves back up the ankle. And it seems to be sort of turning so that 
a large scarred mass on the thigh is sort of facing the adenos. So wherever the adenos moves, that scar kind of moves back to face the adenos again. Please tell me there's a little face inside the scar. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, no face. Just something about the scar being attracted to the adenos. <laughs> uh, I've had inquiries about the crystal. Yes, it's open for trade. I could trade it for one live body or two dead ones. Hmm. Um, so, you know, it turns out your store is rather difficult to get to because of these mines. Ah, those stupid aspirants. They disapprove of my trade. They keep trying to block off the shop. Well, Very annoying. Perhaps, you know, our trade could be to eliminate those mines or even perhaps recover them for you in some way that you could use them yourself. Ooh. Now that's an excellent value proposition. Do that, I can give you some need caps for free. Don't, don't need, oh, so you're like this crystal and throw in some need caps? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> that sounds like an amazing deal. I'll install them. <laughs> be out maybe 12 hours. I'm really good. My, my decaps are just right. So yeah. maybe we'll make a tab? Yeah, maybe on the way back. <laughs> ah, we'll need, we'll right. need them. <laughs> sure, I can, give you, I can give you a chip. Just come back and I'll give you fresh kneecaps if you can get rid of... Don't have to get rid of all of them. Just enough that I don't keep hearing customers go, Oh my God! <laughs> right? <laughs> so... I go out, I just, it's just depressing. Yeah, do you, have a, a, do you have any experience with these mines? Do you have any techniques we could use to recover them? I know enough to know that they're cerebombs. They psychically detect for any sort of mental activity. Think of them as mental motion detectors. There might be a way that you could not think and get close to them, but mm. not, a te- not a technique I understand. Got but, it. Yeah. Would you mind if we waited here to warm up a bit before going back out? Oh, no, that'd be sensible. I have, uh, I have some soy lanka if you want. It's a soup. It's very nutritious. And I promise you, none of my merchandise is in the soup. <laughs> Thank you. That would be very nice. Yeah. So he seems actually happy. Probably the first happy person you've seen in Thark. <laughs> right. If you while you're like like about to eat this soup, if you look over at Anisha, she's just like <laughs> <laughs> Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Oh, I, I, I slurp it up while looking yeah. right at her. She's like... <laughs> <laughs> Lick so, the bowl. Yeah, between between the soup and the warmth, your, your shock is gone, you're recovered, and you feel a lot better. And uh, you also think the soup may have some benefit when you go back out into the cold. You just feel mm. that much better. Nice. Thank you very much. I will... Yeah. Hand him his bowl. The, you call that the blessings, God. the blessings have, of the goddess upon you. Clearly, the goddess approves of hearty appetites. That was impressive. I had never seen a tongue like that before. Perhaps we can talk business later. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> so you're fortified. You're ready. What's your plan for not thinking? <laughs> well, so we'll have a little conference, you know, and then, and Anisha is, you know, like deep down, she's thinking, I'm probably the smartest person in this room. And she's actually wrong. You know, she doesn't know that uh, Maru's like an actual rocket scientist. <laughs> <laughs> but she's like, I, like, who, whoever's got like the, you know, the, the least going on is probably the best to get to these things and she's looking at the other two like maybe they're better candidates but you know but she's wrong so <laughs> like we're gonna have this discussion like well i mean maybe a uh you know some kind of you know chant of the faithful would keep keep you in a, a zone like a that might do it the big thing is once we get to it, we need to find an on like an off switch, which will require some thought. But 
But hmm. either that, or we could make it like a we can make it a race. We'll all three try three different ones. And see <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Hopefully, we all don't get stuck at the same time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How many mines do we want to try and recover? Just one, or you well, can, you, if you can, you can carve a path by getting rid of four mines. Right. Then you'd have a fairly straight path outside of the radius of most of these things. I mean, if somebody comes in from the side streets, oh well. But the you can clear the sort of main path that the synth cycler was, you know, ripping stuff down on by getting mm -hmm. rid of four of the mines. Yeah, and if we okay. can deactivate them, then like I'd love to have one. As a like a, a gizmo that we might be able that to we use, can use later. later. Okay. Yeah, for sure. So none of you have a cult tech, but I will just say it's a difficult mind roll to figure out which one of the wires to pull to deactivate <laughs> this thing, and then you can reconnect the wire up when you're ready to set it. Cool. And so I th and I think what our main approach would be is um, if someone's got a quiet weapon, great. If not, I'll shoot one. But we'll like just destroy it, like you know, take one out at range, and then like go over the debris and see how it works, so that maybe we can approach and deactivate one without having to figure it out That's while in the field. Mm -hmm. Well, I can Sounds throw like a, a spear at it. Perfect. Yeah, let's do that. All right, <laughs> I'll I'll find one and throw a spear at it. Okay, so it, it's, you know what they look like now. So go ahead and throw a spear, which is. Interesting. Missile weapons. Yep. Is well, it... your spear is sticking at an odd angle and a bunch of rubble. Well, as I say, is it really hard to hit? Because I will possibility it, but... Uh... <laughs> All right. There you go. There you go. Noise. Yeah. So you... Clip one takes a skull off of the stick, and apparently that pulls some wires, and it's inactive, so you can go pick it up. Yeah, I bring it back, like, yeah. still perched on the end of the spear and, like, hold it out. Great <laughs> job. Yeah, Dripping so, with various fluids and kind of yeah, just like hold it out right in front of Anisha. Okay. So, yeah. And evidence, so, evidence analysis, science, or any magic skill will work for this. So how so, about... Yes. So how about let's have Maru use her science? Yeah, yes. she's actually good at this. Yep. But I'll support with evidence analysis because that's what I do. Ooh, okay. I think instead of a roll, I'm just going to give the straight plus one. So, right. All right. So how do I do that? You're just going to roll your science. Just I think roll you straight. got it. Okay. Yep. All right. Oh, but you got a modifier plus one. So okay. So plus modifiers. one modifier. That's what I was. Yeah. Okay. And that is, oof, that's not great. I think that's I'll use a possibility great. for that. Yeah. All right. Let's re -roll so, over. original roll was seven, modifier plus one when it asks. So, it just asks when, modifier, yeah. So, what do you mean original roll? So, when first it'll ask for modifier, then it'll ask for your original roll. It'll do two pop ups. There you go. Uh, ask for yeah. original roll. Oh, well, that's just a re-roll then. Okay, well, but it's still, a 15 is probably going to be good enough. Yeah. So, yeah, it becomes it becomes pretty apparent that they're, if you can pop off, there's basically they have the skull wires going down to various, like, ceramic things that are stuck on the edge of the stake that have imprinted occultic symbols. And if you can pry off the correct one, you can neutralize the thing. So it's pretty easy. Okay, I pull this one. It's dead. I reattach it, it goes. And there are also a couple with that. You know that you can try to turn the sensitivity of the mine up or down with the ones that are nearest the skull, but probably you could just leave those alone. Okay. <laughs> so then, yeah, like I think what we really want to do is we want to, you know, wreck a couple just to make our pathway, and then we'll try and take two of them alive. We'll give one to the guy and keep one for ourselves. Tell him we need right. a path, and here's here's proof. Like with one, and we'll keep the other one. All right. So we can just go past the disabling. Eventually, that will work. So who wants to try to approach and deactivate the occult tech symbol? Deactivation mm -hmm. would be science or, you know, 
or uh, magic. And I will go with faith or meditation to turn this thing down. But unfortunately, those skills are not shared by a single individual. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I think we're going to have to team up on this one, Maru. All right. So, I mean, okay, I have, so... it looks like it says my, oh, that's a, my defense of faith is 13. Is that what we're looking at? No, this is skill. It's a skill. Faith. Okay, yeah, uh, I don't have that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Still, though, if you have a really high spirit, do um, mm -hmm. you have a spirit of thirteen? I do. Yeah. Wow. Okay, that's whoa. You, you know what? Uh, you, you. I think got that's this. a typo. I'll, yeah, <laughs> is I'll it? Just, I'll I'll just sit back and watch because you got this. Yeah. <laughs> is that a typo? <laughs> I think that's, that's what it a says. Typo. Like, <laughs> She might have a good spirit, but 13 is like the human maximum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll go, we'll go with the typo. I will just see. So you're going to try to check that later. <laughs> how, are you, how are you going to try to, to dampen your mind as you approach this trap? Uh, I, 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 will, I will do some like, uh, some like walking, moving meditation, you know, some, some like, Tai Chi forms, something like that, to like not really be in my own mind, just kind of moving, you know, based on of, you know, I already went through that path, so I already kind of know where they are on the edge there. So I will just kind of use my forms as I move around, not really thinking of, of where I am specifically, but just kind of following the form, kind of plan it out ahead of time and then just follow it there. All right. So I like that. You give yourself a plus two to your spirit roll. All right. Give me a spirit roll and then I'll oppose you over here. All right. So I got a disconnect. If it's a four if case, it's a four which, case, right. which it's, it's not. not. So Your nine. result's nine. Yeah. yeah. And so. I, so I'm minus one, so at six. So I do not detect you. Sweet. So you're, you're next to the mine. You can give me a science roll. Yeah. Science that up. Here comes some science. That is, oh, a seven. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, basically, the Tai Chi form is wonderful. And once you go back into the science mindset, it's like the mind goes, oh, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. All right. So, try it again. Ow. Ow. So, what's your, what's your mind? Uh, my mind is eight. Oh, eek. Okay. So that is going to be two wounds, four shock. Mm. Try to soak that if you want or wait for the DNOs to heal you up. You got it. It blew uh, you up good. So two wounds, four shock. How do I, how do I soak it? So, uh, you roll reality if you want to soak. But the DNOs, A, it's non-lethal, which is nice. It means yep. it recovers quicker. B, the Adinos hasn't, you know, once a scene can heal each of us, you know, it's oh, done okay. me, it's yeah. not done you, up to you. Because mm -hmm. it's actually uh, hard to heal all of that. Okay. I'm, so uh, Moonwalker leans over to Yisha and says, I think she's doing great. <laughs> and does the thumbs up gesture. <laughs> yeah. Anisha also is like, yeah, no, that she got there all the way there. That's great. Right. <laughs> uh, apparently she's being thankful. Just standing, motionless. Yeah. By the mind. Will, I'll try. I'll try to soak it. I'll try to soak it. We'll see what I get. <laughs> so you spend a possibility to soak, and you roll reality. Okay. All right. And if you get a ten, you soak one of them and all the shock. And if you get a fifteen, you soak it all. <laughs> I got a, a seven. <laughs> so you didn't soak. I didn't soak any. <laughs> right. Oh man. So, so yeah. So you feel moderately terrible. Everything <laughs> where you were flowing before, everything about your movement is now discreet and jerky. And it's like the damage has sort of analyzed what you're trying to do and says, oh, you don't get to do that anymore. <laughs> so even though it's non-lethal, if you try the same approach, you're going to be at a negative two modifier for the wounds to try to sneak up on the final mine. But mm -hmm. you can still do it. But she got that one. It did it blew up. Oh, uh, it blew oh. up. Okay, All so right. so you you need to take a rest because you're kind of wrecked. Okay, <laughs> but, uh, like I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do the like 
Uh, I'm just going to try to move too fast to think. So <laughs> I'm just going to like, like, just run up to it and just like grab wires without thinking. Just, you know, like, that's what she's so doing. It's going to be like, you know, on three, one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Fast, 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 go! Go, 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 okay, go! Okay, so I'll give you a maneuver test. Awesome. And it's going to be very difficult. Okay. So give me a Good 16. Luck. I did not get a 16. Yeah. So you run in and then kind of face plant on the rubble as they hear the soft like, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Moonwalker's back there like this. So what's your, <laughs> what's your mind? My mind is nine. Oh! but I completely suck. You actually make the mine. <laughs> awesome. So I mean, she's going to try to like, grit through it and still try and pull the wires? Yeah, because it, it did not manage to affect you, so it's still live. So you get you get your uh, get your evidence analysis roll. Awesome. I would like very much to make this, please. I'm going to spin the possibility to do better than an eight. My roll was seven, a modifier, last roll, seven, submit. There we go. How about a 16? Awesome. You have, you have a live Sarah bomb. She's like, congratulations. <laughs> like she comes back, like one eye is kind of a little cross-eyed, the other like eye's twitching a little bit. She's like, got it. Puts it in the backpack. Nice. Good job. I will, I will try and heal Maru when she gets back as well. All right. So. The goddess blesses you. Oh, there you oh, go. Yeah. Oh. That's two oh. wounds and all shock. Two wounds and all shock. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Thank so you. once again, the, the the golden light of Lanala is just like you know, washing over her body and cleansing her of her wounds. So, yeah. And well, again, when you, when you, you, know, you put your claw <laughs> on the move, you, you see the scaffolding and Aleka just like looks straight at you. And it's like, Moonwalker? We're coming for you. Stay strong. And you just see a crow land and start pecking it as not <laughs> No. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's great. We need to hurry. <laughs> <laughs> the Moonwalker, we need but to I'm hurry. I'm so busy messing in with mines. <laughs> So yeah, well, let's let's head back to Lynn was his name, right? Lev, Lev, Lev. Yeah. Let's yeah, we'll ring the doorbell and we'll give him the four blown up mines as proof that we cleared the path. He yeah. is he is super excited. The trigger says, "I haven't seen these symbols anywhere. These must be new. They're doing something sneaky. Those aspirants, but you know, I can probably move these again." Hey. Kneecaps and ankles. Kneecaps <laughs> and ankles. Just come back. Any lower leg damage. <laughs> yours for free. Nah, you're very generous. Mm. So, what is an aspirant, by the way? Oh, uh, they're the demons that think they aren't demons. Like, how does that work? I mean, okay. delusional, yeah, yeah. obviously. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're, they're putting a good effort into it. <laughs> yeah. By putting Moonwalker lines out, they can like wreck in the back of his head. <laughs> well, I said they, they don't really approve of my business because, you know, maiming humans to save other humans doesn't really save the humans. Blah, 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 blah. blah. <laughs> Just honest day's work for an honest day's body part. That's my motto. And so if we could just get that crystal, we would be on our way. Oh, certainly. He goes by and he opens up a strong box, and pulls out like a smoky sort of smooth quartz is a contradiction in terms. It doesn't have the facets, but this smooth, smoky crystal, it's like, be careful. This one is not terribly stable. Hands it to you. When you say be careful and it's not stable, could we get a little bit of elucidation on that? Should we not think at it hard? Should we not drop <laughs> it? Yeah, if, if you fall, if you trip and fall with it, you won't be getting up. Okay, thanks, Lev. Important safety tip. 
Got it. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, you're going to have to mention that you got that here. I wouldn't want it to get around that I've been. Ah, thank you. Appreciate it. I'm Very good worried. doing business with you. Best of luck wherever you're going next. Wherever that is, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, let's let's get out of here and get back to the church. Mm. I'm the last one out because I like to savor the warmth. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you do. And so you discovered a slight trick. If you just time your exit for the next loop of the synthocycler and then follow it, nothing bothers you. <laughs> and when it makes the final circuit around, you just sort of stop following it and head off the short distance of the church. And you see the the uh, followers of Madame Ulna are out there. And they sort of, you know, eyebrows raise as you approach. Like I'll hold up the crystal and be like, boop. <laughs> 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 um, and almost without thinking, they genuflect. <laughs> they look a little embarrassed that they've done that. But there's like some <laughs> reflexive reaction. You did an alpha move. They submitted to it. Oh. Nice. And so then they kind of like recovered. Really, like, wait, you know, <laughs> we're just playing. It. Yeah, yeah. She tucks it away too. Like, right, right, right. We're all friends here. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> yeah. So. You were walking. And we're walking with the crystal. <laughs> yep. And it leads you to the room with the severed head of Madame Uliana. Oh, what? it's a head. Oh. That's a head. <laughs> Is it yeah. in the jar? <laughs> it's in a box. It's there's, in, a, there's a picture. It's the box. Yeah. <laughs> and they pull tubes from the back and then they wheel up what sort of looks like a, a ultrasound machine and crank up to cables that connect up to the back of the head. They put the crystal in. And then her eyes open and she starts to speak. And they're like scribbling things down. They say, she's ready. I'm going to lean what? over to, uh, to Maru and say, that's not creepy at all. <laughs> no, no, not at all. <laughs> is, uh, is, you know, not that we don't completely trust him, but is Director Kazarov's question correct? You want to know the location, last known location of Saber Company? Correct. Correct. That is your question. That's, well, that's one point for him, I guess. <laughs> and so they bow and they speak. It's not Russian. It's probably a made-up language. You know, I'm talking well, to him. Sort I might of, speak it. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of, you know, like kind of the, kind of like a, a Tharkoldian thieves can't mm -hmm. talking to her in a language, and she eyes light up and she starts spitting out numbers. They're writing it down. And they come in and hand you the list and says, this should be the latitude and longitude of their last known location when they were still a group. We were told that we might be able to procure a vehicle here. Ah, yes. You can. Um, they sort of look around at each other. But we, sus we suppose you've given sufficient payment for both and uh, make a requisition roll would anyone else like to so definitely not the adinos <laughs> uh, i think that's still Aww. gonna be me. what kind of role is it it's it's charisma <laughs> or street rides if you have a charisma if you don't yeah, yeah. i got a six well, yeah i got a seven so i'm still the best and yep. like adinos <laughs> has a minus four to this so yes yeah, so i'll go ahead and try and requisition well we have a well, we've got a CAS transport, but uh, the the passenger side door is broken, but it runs fairly mm. well. I'm going to go ahead and possibility that, because I don't think a five is going to get us a running vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> See that one out there on blocks? That's yours. <laughs> That's right. I did the get numbers Get it down and it'll work it's out. I did the numbers backwards, so uh, <laughs> it's not actually a fifteen. I gotta, I gotta rework the math in my head here. Yeah, modifiers. 
bonus plus one, eight. It would be a 10 if I've done it right. So you get you get a working vehicle. Hey! Uh, you get the CAS transport, though. You don't get any anything special. Yeah, no machine gun turret or anything like that. No, no machine gun <laughs> turret. Um, they do, however, since you've been gen- they fixed the passenger side door. So it blocks most of the wind now. That's nice. nice. So. Well, Mario, I think you're driving. All right, yeah. I, I look, I look, I kind of look shocked as I put a hand over my chest. And... <laughs> <laughs> my dog, too. <laughs> All right. So I would like a find roll from, from uh, Moonwalker and Anisha, and I'd like a land vehicles roll from Maru. 11 is my find. 11 is also my, oh no, 10 is my, oh no, sorry, 11. Yeah, 11 is also my find. And I got a 10. Okay. It's a rough, rough ride. You figure it's probably 80% the road and 20% your vehicle. (laughs) And it just, it, you know, you are basically driving a double clutch manual shift without sufficient hydraulic fluid to make either work in these cold temperatures. <laughs> so you are muscling this truck around. And so you do some interesting slaloms on otherwise straight <laughs> roads to keep things basically on track. And, uh, you know, Maru's concentration is perfect for this because it doesn't much bother her when, you know, the truck yeah. leans on two wheels for a while and has to slam <laughs> back down. There's two wheels is what she's used to. She's like, yeah, I grab my bike <laughs> like this all the time. It all works. You know, no, no one should be surprised that uh, Moonwalker's praying during the trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm actually totally trying to read a map. Like, there's going to be a turn, like, three kilometers up forward, and there really is, and it's just, like, wasteland everywhere. It's, like, it's not what the map says at all. <sighs> and as you clear Jotkinsk, you get about 10 kilometers out of town. Good news! The road straightens out. Bad news. It starts to snow hard. Mm. Um, so I need another find roll from the two passengers and another vehicle's roll from our master driver. Now, is this something that we can have one person take point on and the other help? It could be. So i tell you what, Moonwalker, I'll just give you a plus one. All right. Then my total is a 13. Um and uh, Moonwalker will say, what is that white stuff falling from the sky? <laughs> okay, so what's the total find? 13. Okay. Luck- lucky 13. Wow, and you're going to stick. So, despite the fact that you've got a rumbling, belching transport, <laughs> this, when the, the two of you... Spot looks like, oh, it looks like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the old Star Trek lean. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Everyone's leaning in different directions. <laughs> so, but you spot that there, it looks like there is a uh, on its side burned out vehicle just at the edge of vision. And when you point it out, Maru manages to take the vehicle off road, tuck it in behind a hill so that you don't drive straight up to the wreck. You're about 40 meters away, you park the vehicle unseen, and you can go investigate on foot. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, and so is the snow thick enough to disrupt visibility or not? Yeah, you're at minus two. Okay. Um, so I'll still, from our like top of our little hill that we're hiding behind, try and use binoculars and see if I can see anything around it. Yeah. So if you take a little while, Give me that. Give me another find roll. I will. Results not guaranteed. <laughs> yeah, well, if you take time, I'll give you a plus, a plus four because you're taking time. Ah, well, with a plus four, that would be a I'll, seven. So. I'll help. I'll so, help you. That, that makes so I don't take time. I'm literally like looking. I'm like, can't see crap because of all this snow. Let's go. Boom. <laughs> yeah, basically. Yeah, basically. It's, it's, just, it's just landed and covered up your lens. It's like, not worth time cleaning it off. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> it also means we'll be able to approach through cover of snow. So yeah. we can't yeah. see in, they can't see out. 
It's like somebody took a bus and made it with an armadillo. It has got mm. welded plate armor on the sides. It's just like, whew, that's, you know, doesn't look like it would handle well. Your CAS transport's better than this. So you're uh, just, How about, are there survivors? Are there people hurt? We will, we will go right now. Are there survivors? Yeah, there's five of them with machine guns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Nope. Racing out of the ruins. And it just takes you a while to, see, to blink and see them because they managed to manage to sort of use the snow to break up their outline somehow. It's got to be a supernatural effect. Mm. And are wolves with strands of metal protruding from all their... Wait, oh, it's chains. They've Holy got lots metal. of chains coming out of their body, and they charge at you. Hmm. What a wonderful, friendly reception we've found. <laughs> yes, you have. They regroup. Okay, well, you get to go first. Chain wolves will be going second. Looks like there are four chain wolves for you to deal with. Okay, I'm going to go first of us then and say, stay close, friends. I'm going to cast... Oh, you know what? No, because they're not demons. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about a ward enemy. Never mind. I'll go last. You guys go ahead. Sorry. Well, ward enemy uh, works against supernatural evil, right? Correct. Yeah. I believe these qualify. Okay, then in that case, I'll I'll throw a ward enemy on a uh, it's five meter radius, so it should be everybody if they stay close. And there's the faith roll, which is thirteen. Ward enemies got a difficulty of eight, so I that's a good success. Everybody's got plus two to their defenses. Okay, very nice. Awesome. And that's that's it. That's all I do. Oh. All right. So as they are running towards us um, in preparation for them getting near us, I will try to, to stop that as much as possible. And I looks like I got a, a little SMG. I'll pull out a submachine gun and kind of uh, throw down a short burst at them. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Fire them so, up. They they have a dodge of twelve. Right, Go for so it. I'm just doing fire combat. Correct. Yep. Whether well, tis nobler in the mind to suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to pull out your submachine gun and blow them away. Exactly. <laughs> uh, so do I have Some any things other things rotten fire in the for state the, of Denmark? For the you have a plus two for the short burst? Plus two for short burst. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that is, uh, looks like a 13. Oh, that hits. Okay. What is your damage value on that? Uh, it looks like... Damage, it says fix 13? Yep, it's okay. 13. All right, so you managed to do a bit of shock to that one. I'll mark him off. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they hit him, but they're relatively tough. And it also looks like being shot is not something that surprises them. <laughs> so... So what I'd like to do is I want to climb onto the top of this crazy armadillo bus thing just to get some distance between me and them. Okay, you know. so you're going to do you're going to do maneuver roll onto top of that thing? Oh uh, yeah, that sounds good. I'll just treat it as a maneuver and yeah, against like the like the one. And yeah, I'll just roll maneuver against him. That's a perfect way to deal with it. Twelve is my result. Okay, so you're up top of the bus? And I draw my pistols, but don't do anything with them. Okay. And I think I'm going to put... Let's get a drama out. Remember, after you guys acted, you can put a card in your... Oh, room. that's right. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. There's an image of the chain wolves. I just put it on the screen. People should be able to see a nice large one. Uh, yeah. Cool. <laughs> totally metal. Metal! <laughs> totally metal. Literally, totally. Uh, All right. So we'll try two. We're going to go for combined attack on Maru. Maru, don't forget your defenses are too higher. All right. 
Well, I'm just going to... Basically, one whips the chains around and smacks itself in the snout. <laughs> yips <it> away. <laughs> yeah. The other two are going to go for the Dianos, because they just don't feel like leaping onto a bus right at the second. My job here is done. Oh! That's a hit and a half. Yeah, <laughs> so the two that are charging you, you know, their chains come around and they link in the center and basically clothesline you with their <laughs> chains. And they come around and one manages to bite you in the back of the neck as they, after they have dropped you. I think this looks like a perfect time to play opponent fails. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> nice. So you're going you're gonna to do that? Yeah, that's the card I put into play. I think that's a so, good call. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. So discard that. Right, so <laughs> we, we do the little possibility of rewriting a couple frames. <laughs> so they change, link up, they snag. I jump. Pull them together too close, and they both land directly in front of you, but don't manage to loop around you. Nice. <laughs> okay. That was a hell of a roll, too. Dang. Ew. Yeah. This happens. Ah, oh, maneuver. Perfect. Yeah, they go first, and you guys are going to have a contradiction surge at the end. Got it. So, just so you know. Well, boy, and, the all, and all we do for that, Robert and mm -hmm. Ross, just roll a, D a regular just D20 off the side of the thing. There's a thing that looks like a D20. Choose yeah. a D20. If, if you don't... if if you don't roll a one, you're fine. Is pretty yeah. much what it comes down to. Though. So the ones figure that, that somehow the lizard creature is cursed. <laughs> <laughs> they wheel around and charge the bus. Not my bus. I know they're going to leap onto the bus. It, no ticket, Daryl. You're going to hate them. So. Fifteen against your improved dodge. That's still a hit. Okay. So what's your dodge now? Uh, improved, it would actually be like a thirteen. Okay. So wow, you take two shock. Take like, two. Ah, take shock. I'm shocked. Shocked, I say. <laughs> That's right. And then the other two are going to go. Man, they don't like Maru either. <laughs> Just give them the creeps. All right, but, yep, yeah, we've got to try. We're going to try to maneuver Maru. This one will maneuver. I fail. So the last one attacks. Just leaps straight at you. Jaws open as wide as it can. The chains come over its shoulders, sort of like whipping it an X, trying to catch you across the face. Mm -hmm. Leaps. <laughs> and it face plants at your feet. Just Ooh. comes to a skidding halt, sort of spins in the snow, and is sort of across you, sort of like crossing the T. So it's <laughs> perpendicular to you, like, oops. Nice. All right. So, hero's turn. So now that, uh, now that it sort of jumped over me, um, uh, I will now kind of, uh, you know, let go of my SMG. I assume it's on some sort of uh, harness thing that kind of swings down. I'll draw. It's, yeah, yeah, it's free to drop and draw. So, yeah. Uh, draw my electric katana. And um, since it sort of uh, kind of got a little mixed up in its own change, can I try to kind of like exacerbate that a little bit and sort of try to, you know, move around you it could. so the chains get wrapped up and, and then strike at it when it's stuck. That out. sounds would, like a maneuver, actually. Yeah, that's me. what I was going to say. It sounds like a maneuver if you want to do that. If you want to use your melee weapons, you can you know, position yourself, but you won't get a maneuver bonus. And, mm -hmm. and you can multi-action to do both. You'll be right. able, You can make one roll, you're a minus two. You don't get the benefit of the maneuver for that attack, but you do get both benefits if you succeed. I think okay. it's totally worth it. Sure. I'll do that. So, okay, I, so I'm going to do, do maneuver and I'm minus two. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, basically just roll one or the other, but the, okay. bo the bonus that you generate, you'll have a minus two. The bonus that you generate will apply to both actions. Yeah, and this one, this one is, this one stymied itself. So, okay. <laughs> so, I'm so I'm minus two on my maneuver. 
Yeah. Yeah. Just roll right. maneuver and minus two mod. Okay. Right. All right. Oof. No good. So your roll was a six. The bonus is minus four. So you're going to fail the maneuver. Mm -hmm. you, you also apply that same net minus six to wow. your melee attack. Mm -hmm. So you're, you're going to miss. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So basically, you've got a chain wolf and Maru skating on thin ice, effectively. <laughs> it, the ah, footing ah, is just around. terrible. Nice. And it's like, kind of like, it's hard to be aggressive on the surface. Both of you are being aggressive, and it you sort of overplayed it and got out of position. Okay. okay I'd, like, I'd like to go. Um, I think uh, what I'm going to do is use my tail to stabilize myself. All right. And use the spear to, 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 to stab at one of the wolves. So I'll make a... Uh, I'll make an attack roll, but since I'm using my tail to help, I get a uh, this is favored now. Yeah, right. so you just roll. If you don't like the first roll, you can try again. Correct. Yeah, so this is uh, melee weapons is the roll. And uh, I don't like that, so we will go again. Right, and you have to I take have to the take, second one. I have to yeah. take the second one, yeah. But, you know, I'm thinking I could probably do better than a seven. Nope. <laughs> to me <make> says <laughs> no. No, the Moonwalker <laughs> faint, faints at the first one and then stabs in exactly the same place the second time. <laughs> but but I have a possibility that I'll throw on this. Uh, so uh, no modifier. Last roll was a six. There we go. <laughs> now that's a good spend of a possibility. That that turns it from a miss. It was a clever feint, actually. Yeah, that's so right. Lure the wolf exactly where I wanted it. <laughs> Stab, and the damage of the spear is uh, let's see, eleven. Was that a okay. good hit, or was that an outstanding? That's a good result. So yeah. you're gonna you get a bonus die with that. All right, and I do you roll that in the the system here? Yeah, there's a like a, a the 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 name of the spear on your sheet. Oh, okay. Oh, well, okay. Or just roll the die. That's fine. All right, so, so that's a right, five. But it's yeah, five plus that explodes on a right. six. So roll again. Oh. Roll again. Ah. Okay. okay, so eleven. So twenty-two total damage. Think okay, so I will I will rule that because the the card has maneuver on it, and you have so much overage on damage. If you can dramatically, you know, narrate for me what you, how you toss the resulting chain wolf body, I'll give you a maneuver bonus on the remaining wolf on the ground. All right. So, yeah, I, I faint the wolf into moving exactly where I want it to, do, and then I stab it. And using its momentum, I actually, and and the way I've got my tail planted, the spear becomes a lever. That it just kind of goes in this big arc, trailing little chains, bits of blood, frozen little jewels of red behind it. And it goes sailing through the air over the bus. All right. And it hits me. Ah! I'll even do a <laughs> flourish with the spear, like some kind of cool kung fu, you know. All right. So we'll do that here. That So it fails. So it's got a dog role-playing our wolves for us. It's, yeah, com <laughs> it's, completely, it's completely dead. Yes, and I'll see here, and I'll give the most sincere. I'll stymie yeah. those two. Okay, that was the best possibility spend I've had in a while. <laughs> that was impressive. That was really impressive. All right, so Anisha, I believe you're still up. Yeah, and so she's going to disengage from the two that are attacking her. So I become vulnerable for doing that. I don't want to be in melee combat with these things because I'm going to shoot them with my pistol. I'm going to multi-action, almost just like what uh, the Electric Samurai tried to do. But what I'm doing, I'm running to the edge of the bus, and the, the gag maneuver is if they, you know, they're, when they leap at me, she's trying to leap to the side so they jump off the bus and hurt themselves. You know, okay. The intended maneuver. But she's also like, bam, 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 like hammering away okay. with the pistols. So basically, you start running down the length of the bus as they've leaped up towards the top of the bus. And as they're bounding to attack you, you're like leaping over them so that they'll miss. And as you're sort of at the apex, you start shooting down. And that's that exactly the plan. Now, All right, here we go. See if the die roll says that that's a good plan, or if it just became a comedy routine. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, <laughs> that's a fumble. <sighs> cool. Comedy routine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So my guns jam on a one. Yep. And yes, I auto fail, no chances. Oh, that reminds me, we got to do searches this round. That's right. Yeah. Uh, so here's a uh, Moonwalker surge roll. I did not disconnect by one. Barely. Shockingly, I didn't either. Wow. <laughs> That would have been that would have been the icing on the cake. Yeah, but basically you do you do leap and midair, your guns jam, that distracts you on landing, you basically skid to your knees, and the wolves just turn around and get ready to pounce. Yeah, I go yep, that that's Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. yep. All right. Yeah. Go to the next round. And we're clear your cards, everyone. Villains are stymied. That's convenient, given that uh, we have a hero who's stymied him herself. Yeah. All right. We'll just go for it. Nothing subtle. Just chomping the one on top of the bus. I'm actually going to pull my action and defend. Okay. Not a particularly great time for it, so I'm rolling a bonus. I'm just literally rolling for the bonus here, everyone. Bonus is minimum one. I have got... <laughs> Well, I've got um, the Indomitable, which means I get to try that again for free and take the yep. better one. That's still really terrible. So, plus one. So, okay. My defense dice goes just up really up not to, like it. Well, 14's not bad. Like this. Yeah, don't forget the plus two. Still in effect. That's with, mm -hmm. the, with the plus two. Yep. Okay, so I hit you once. On the nose. On the nose. And what's your toughness again? Eight. Eight. Ow. Well, I still don't think I wound you. Nope, not quite. Okay, so you have two shock. Two big did shock. You, did you roll that with your stymied? The, I rolled it with the stymied for the... I just changed the value input. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. And the one on the ground. Wow. He's got a terrifying Adenos and this thing with his sword flashing about his ears. <laughs> um, I'll charge the Adenos. Just because. <laughs> <laughs> I must avenge my fallen brothers. Or no. I could. Or I could. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. it snarls. It whips around. It's chained sort of starts to wrap around Maru's katana, and Maru quickly jerks the katana out of the way, also spinning the wolf down to two legs, who just sort of skitters, lands on its side, skating straight towards Edino, stopping about a meter away. My goddess protects me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's their round. Okay, heroes. <laughs> I use mind defending, so I'm done. Oh, but I get a card. Do that. I think I'll uh, attack the wolf in front of me here. All right. So, do I get a bonus of any kind for its position, or no, no? All right, fair enough. It just can't do. It's now very stymied. Next round, it's it's not going to be doing anything for a while. Uh, all right. Well, that's a that's that's a pretty bad roll. Um, I'm, since I favored, I get to roll again, so I'll do that again. Yep. Uh, melee weapons. Come on, I can do better in the seven, right? Sure. No. <laughs> Apparently not. God, dog it. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, it's fine. I just I, I stab at it. I, just, I shrug. I, you know. So, this somehow, I, I just imagine Maru giving helpful commentary, like <laughs> it's a stabbing weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just, you know, I, I just, for some reason, the cold is, you know. Aim for his yeah. plexal yeah. acupoint. And you're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> so, Maru, what are you doing? Uh, so, I will try to, since I was, like, slipping and sliding last time, I will kind of take that into account as I rush towards this thing as it's very stymied. And I will kind of, like, drop to my knees and sort of slide into it. Uh, Ooh, let's see what I, can right, do I like here. it. Oh, that's neat. Use the ice. Yes. Yep. Uh, I'll give you time, a plus two for that. Oh, Okay, Give yourself so. a plus two modifier. 
Uh, I already rolled. So what does that do for me? Well, well just oh. what do you get? Oh, you have a so you got a twenty total. Twenty. Ow. Yeah. Okay, just out on top of that. Yeah. Nice. Ow. And then so I will... you just give yourself a bonus die. If you have a card of any kind, you're yeah. you're two away Peter from. Like a, yeah, my Peter Peter Peter. Yep, that's exactly. So this is uh, play this card to add bonus dice to the damage of your success two. attack. Two bonus dice added to your damage of your katana. Okay, uh, so how do I do that? Uh, I just click uh, the katana. So you click the katana, and it'll ask how many bonus dice, and then yeah, you add two. All right, two, two value, or two, two. Is it right two. now? It's asking two modifier. No, two there's modifier. Oh. Uh, no. Or is that damage? Am I clicking damage? damage. Oh, okay, hold on. Yeah. Damage. I still thought that was clicking the name, but. It's not letting I wouldn't know because I haven't actually hit it. So. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's when I click damage, it doesn't do anything. The damage number. Yeah, I thought it was the name of the weapon. So, yeah. but right now it's just if I click the number by damage, it just highlights it. It's not doing anything. Yeah, I like. I thought it was the name. Uh, I'll try it again. And see what it says. Oh no! Yeah, when I click the number under my damage, it asks. It brings up a dip bonus dice prompt. So no, mine did not. It does. Uh, well, number problem. <laughs> you click the number under damage. Yes. Yeah, mine just highlights the number. Oh, oh, oh it's on the line. It. Oh, it's it's on the line above. You want to see where the name of the the attack is, and then go right until you click on the damage. Yeah. It's, it's, and then it's fixed thirteen, but the thirteen lets me change. No, 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 no. Okay, so if you're looking at fixed, that's two lines below where you need to be. Oh, okay. Oh, I see so damage go, up there. Oh, gotcha. There I you see. go. Yes. Uh-huh. I was in the same boat. I'm like, wait, no, that's not. Oh. Right, there we go. 22. Wow. <laughs> a lot of damage. Yeah. That's so, a dead wolf. <laughs> narrate how you'd, like this, how you'd like this sliding attack to go. Yeah, so I just, happens. you know, just go running and sliding and just sort of impale them and just on, you know, on, on the tip of my katana. Right through his, uh, you know, through his, through his neck, maybe cutting off some of his chains. All right. So, yep. Basically, and, and then you go sliding past the Adenos with the, <laughs> the extra momentum. <laughs> <laughs> as Wave. He's, as, as he's stabbing at the ice. All right. So, yep. That leaves the two wolves up top as the only wolves around. Is it time for yep new card? Oh no, they're inspired. Ah, uh, great. We get to get rid of that. But so now I will attack. Yeah, we've. You really have annoyed us. We must keep <laughs> attacking Adisha. Bring it on. And you still have all-out defense because it hasn't been your turn again. Uh, actually, it goes away at the round, so oh. my defense drops back down. Well, that's unfortunate. Probably not, though, actually, in the way they've been rolling. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, that's still a good hit. Oh! oh. And that's oh. an outstanding. Man, that's going to hurt. Oh, yeah. Oh. It is going to hurt. Man. That's going to hurt. That's a 36 for the viewers at home <laughs> that Greg has oh. just rolled for his wolf. Wow. Uh, and they both went after me. So you guys are just standing down <laughs> there like, huh. Oh. Because they're both on top, they're both on top right. of the bus. <laughs> 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 And leaping down to the sliding samurai of death. It seems like, <laughs> seems like a bad plan to them. <laughs> wow. Anisha's getting a... You're a chew toy right now, I think. <laughs> Ooh, 20 damage. Yep, so that's, oh! That's two, your toughness is nine. So that's two wounds. So I'm going to go ahead and spend my last possibility to soak. All right. Uh, let's see here. No modifier yet. So the great thing is I'm tenacious, which means I get to re-roll that for free. Yay! So I'm pretty good at this soaking damage thing, unless I screw up. So I'll go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I got to use the my willpower card just to soak one of those two wounds and all the shock. You've got a second chance there too, FYI. I do, but I'm the trauma. But the roll wasn't bad enough to try and redo that. Uh, the wow. drama is going to be for that next wound that's going to do like thirty damage. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was that was the bad one. Oh, good, good. All right, here's, Bring it here's, on, the, next. here's the not so bad one. Okay, so that's a wound. A uh, wound. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drama that one and try to shulk. All right. Again. 
Reality. Hey! Hey! If that had been the first one, I would have soaked it all. Okay. So you take one wound and two shot, but because it's star cold, the narration goes like they charge you, and one leaps over you, the other one hooks you. The one that leaped over you hooks you like above the shoulder, one hooks you down around the waist. Then they start going in opposite directions, basically trying to draw and quarter you with the hooks they've implanted in you. So we'll so do these that. These are Cenobite wolves. <laughs> yeah. they're, they're supernaturally evil type wolves. Yeah. Legally distinct in some yeah. manner. Yes. That's yes, right. <laughs> exactly. Okay, heroes, you get to go. It may not matter because the wolves may not survive. <laughs> So, who wants to go first, heroes? Um, I'll look at Maru and say, help her with the wolves. And I'm going to try and jump up on top. Actually, I don't need to jump up on top. I just have to get my hand on Anisha's foot <laughs> and cast heal. So, heal is once an act, and you've already oh, healed me. So, I can't do it again. Oh, never mind. Whoa, in that, whoa, whoa, whoa. In that case, I can't actually do that. What about uh, attacking the wolf, then? I guess I'll just... If I have a spear, do I need to get up on the bus to do that, or can I do it from the ground? You can do it from the ground, because the bus is on its side. So, you can basically, like, step on step on the drive shaft or something, and you have to reach up and... You know what? I use my tail to help me balance because there that's you go. The evolutionary uh, result of that thing, actually. Tail pop up. Boop. Boop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So there's a melee weapons roll. Well, that is. Uh, I don't like that roll. Unfortunately, it's uh, favored. Yeah. So uh, not the one. Thank you very much. <laughs> you can definitely do better than that on a second roll. Uh, you say that. Yeah, oh, yeah, there you, go. Nice. you can definitely Woo! do better than that. One. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's, that that's, a, that's that's the great thing about being from a cosm like you know living land. There's so much that doesn't cause a contradiction everywhere else. <laughs> so <laughs> that's true. So, so all right, well, yeah, we'll just count that one as dead. Do we, I don't think. I mean, unless you can have <laughs> negative bonus dice, it's it's worked. <laughs> so, so that one, you basically oh. skew it, and knock it off the other side of the bus. So there's before one Mario's wolf left. Yeah, before well, Mario kills that last one. Oh, go ahead, Russ. I wanted to shake it, you know, stab it, and and just kind of give it a quick shake that the uh, the the chain kind of gets that ripple in it and then unhooks from from the body, so that she's not hooked to it anymore. Okay, I'll buy that because you had excess damage. The other thing that happens is you feel you feel good. It just feels good. Yeah. You recover a shock. Yeah. I wasn't enjoyable. wasn't down in shock. Enjoyable right? killing. Nothing painfully. Still feels good. <laughs> so before Mario can Inflicting take out that... Inflicting pain feels good here. Hmm. Mm. Before Mario can take out that last one, I want to try something. So I reach into my backpack, and I pull out, like, the psychic mind skull, and I, like, shove it at, like, the other thing, and I go, Bad dog! Sit! <laughs> <laughs> so you're basically going to try to toss it Pass your fingers that you're that's holding the last little occult. No, I'm just like holding it like a totem. And okay. I'm like, like I'm just like like I'm I am trying to command this thing with intimidate. Oh, all right. Let's do that's it. That's what I'm attempting. That's a bad roll, but heck, uh, I've got a second chance. Hold on, hold on. As, as he's as he's doing that, as he's intimidating, can I throw on my Cosm card, Neil? This is played any time for the rest of the scene. Intimidation is favored. Oh, yeah, you can. All right, let's do that. Oh, I'll take a free reroll of Intimidate, mm -hmm. absolutely. Let's go. Oh, well, that's a fumble. <laughs> fumble takes precedent, so yeah. <laughs> I can't uh, try to redo that because it's a fumble. Oh, no, I got a second chance. That's the one thing that can redo a fumble. I'm going to play chance. that second chance. Let's go. Roll better. Let's see if this <laughs> happens. Come on, no, an eight. I'm guessing that's not enough. I had to blow all my other cards trying to get trying to survive. Yeah. So basically, you're down ah, there. That's it. You Turns point, out it's not a dog. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you point point the mine at it like sit, and it picks up speed, and you're like crap, and it <laughs> bounces off the front of the bus and starts dragging you along with Mar it. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, so, so, uh, M- Moonwalker same... sits down. <laughs> <laughs> staying on the same, uh, uh, bend as, uh, intimi- uh, intimidate. I'm going to, uh, there's, I guess there's like two dead ones by me, right? I, can I like hack their heads off real quick and like throw them at it to try like in front of it to try to get it to stop and, and just be like, I killed your sure. friends. <laughs> Go ahead. See if you uh, can. So make an intimidation roll. I'll assume that you're good enough to c- cut inanimate objects. <laughs> you can sense a star hole. All right. Uh, so there we go. And so this is, since it was favored, what does that mean? I just get to roll twice if I fail? It means like you that? roll it, and if you don't like it, try it again. Okay. Right. 14. 13 is pretty, pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Like, this is. 14. Then. Okay. Yeah. So that means, that means it is vulnerable or stymied. Your choice. Um, I don't know what the difference is there. So vulnerable means when we go to attack it, we get bonuses to hit. Mm-hmm. Stymied means when it acts, it's minus two. Uh, the safer bet is stymied because when we get a new card, if it goes first, vulnerable will go away before we get to attack. Mm-hmm. All right, let's do that. All right. And it might just run away at this point. We don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it was running away, dragging, yeah. dragging the relic uh, raider. <laughs> Heroes do get to go first. Yay! And the okay. I oh, it's... so can I go first on yeah, this sure. one? So I want to do a trick, and what the trick is is there's got to be like a piece of you know rock or a piece of the bus or whatever, and I want to wrap the chain around it real quick, and so like when the thing's running with it, it jerks. You know, and it's stuck. We're kind of stuck by the chain. All right, so roll your trick. Trick. No modifier. I'm wounded. Jeebus. <laughs> These dice. So, wow. So you throw out what you th- towards you know, what you think is a rock. The chain does wrap around, but it yanks out as you continue, to, and you realize that you're now dragging an elven body along with you. Oh. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> nice. Yeah, so you have to make a fear roll, sir. Make a willpower roll. That will just be spirit for me. I will roll that. New. Okay, so I am you will be very stymied. You are very stymied. As this thing is like just bouncing along, you know it's it, like, it like, like yeah, like it lands on me and it's like an Indiana Jones scene or whatever. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, yep. tongue falling out of its mouth. I'm like, oh, worst day ever. <laughs> Why did I come here? So, yeah, yeah, you, you see it dragging along. Like, oh, crap. Who's next? <laughs> you see the wolf slowing down a little as it's now dragging two bodies. One's alive, though. Success. <laughs> I will, M- Maru will try to uh, catch up to it and uh, try to put an end to this thing if, I, if possible. Yeah, you can catch up to it because it is dragging about. 300 pounds of people. <laughs> <laughs> All right, run up to it, slicing at it. Uh, nope. <laughs> That's Just it. that good in the dice. Okay. <laughs> so, do you want a possibility that? Um, sure, yeah. Let's see. Let's finish this one. Um, melee again. For a 22. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> That'll do it. Yeah, when when you do spend possibilities on combat, this group seems to do pretty well. <laughs> Except me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've gotten burned quite a few times. And so so would, you care, the... would you care to narrate how you managed to kill this wolf? Because yeah. it is it's beyond dead. Nice. So I will uh, as I as I chase into it up to it, I kind of like jump and land on some of the chains, which kind of jerk it back, and as it's kind of flying back to me, I just uh pierce it through its uh, skull. There you go, yeah. <laughs> Yips! Goes an inverted roll, you stab it, it's dead. Nice. Combat mm. is over. <laughs> okay. So, while we're in the golden hour, I think I would like to apply some first aid to myself for that wound. Unless someone else has first aid... I do not. <laughs> Ross, you got first aid? Um, I, I, I have a first aid kit. Uh, I know that. 
And I have. It you is have not a first a aid kit that was given to I you have, by somebody back at the base. I so have another, a kit. Now, but here's the cool thing: you can't use your heal miracle on me, but you can assist with your faith through you know faith healing. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I believe you will get better, right? <laughs> so, because you've got like healing magic, like so you can't heal, so, heal but you can assist. So do you, assist. are you using the first aid kit that the person gave you, or the materials that Anisha has? I'll uh, hand the kids to you, Maru and say, here, do what you can. I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give her the first, plus one. Is the first aid, I think it's plus one like five different times. <laughs> I think, like, I can't remember. So what kind of role is it? So, it's going to be first aid. So I've got first aid, so I'll just okay, yeah, go for it. it. If when you open up the kit, you see occult tech symbols on the gauze. Oh, yeah. So I'll just close the kit and not use it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I get a plus one because I'm being helped, which will undo my minus one. Hey, hey! is there something nice. wrong with the kit? Uh, she, she's like, there's evil science in there, and I'm not sure I want to wrap my body in that. So. Whoa, good roll. Yeah, but as it is, like, I've got gauns and stuff. Like, I'm used to getting hurt in the field, so that'll, yeah. that'll do you can bend it. You can bandage yourself up. It's not. Yeah. It's not that difficult. Yeah, she rubs so, some dirt on it. Come on. So well, basically, as you fit, you see now you've got the bright splotches of red where the chain wolves fell, and the one arc of red over the bus where Ross tossed the tossed the one wolf, and then the dragged pull of red from where you pulled Lyrian's body out of the snow. Yeah, was I this one of our unlikely? For? I think it's unlikely yeah. we'll find survivors here. Hmm. But this was one of the guys we were looking for, wasn't it? Yeah. Yep. You can make a tracking or an evidence analysis roll. I got a little bit of evidence analysis. Uh, I've got a lot. So how about you assist me? I will do so. So that's a plus one for me. I can't use buttons. Buttons are hard. Uh, Robert, you should take your cards back. Oh, yeah. 19. Wow, nice. Right click and then choose take. So, and you can refill up your hand to back to four cards. Ooh, so we're at a scene break? Yep. Awesome. So you can just, yeah, you can just, on the blue deck, hover over it, draw, and tell it how many you draw back up to a hand size of four. What did I get? What did I get? So which which one did we find? We found Larian, and he's the is he the elf, elf? wizard? Yeah, yeah. This, this is the one they the wanted one that us they to really wanted. <laughs> How dead is he? <laughs> he? He's been dead more than a day. With the evidence analysis, you pointed his death at something like thirty six hours ago. Looks like the manner of death is something basically snapped his neck while simultaneously ripping out his throat in pretty much one motion. And you have evidence. You can see that from the tracking, okay, they had it that way. Not too hard to follow, even with the fresh snow. And it's like you're guessing, mm, they left here not too long after he died. They've got a substantial head start on you. Moonwalker's going to pick up Larian's wrist and then drop it and look at Anisha. I don't think he's going to make it. <laughs> well, there's one thing I'm Say good at. Say professional opinion. <laughs> I'm looking at... Is, is, <laughs> there's one thing I'm good at. It's looting corpses. You know, Usually, <laughs> they've been dead a lot longer than this, but I will like check out, you know, check him out. Does he have stuff on him that might... Yeah, he's, be been, he's been thoroughly looted. Okay. Yeah, basically, there's there's really not much on him. So let's he actually is down to the point that his slippers are gone. <laughs> so we're we're yeah. still gonna like pack him in some ice and put him in the tiger with us. Okay. Is there is anything it? else in this in this bus that we can look at? 
stepping inside again it looks whoever hit this is typical marauder raider type where you're scavenging as much as killing i mean there are some seats missing on the bus they've detached the steering wheel they've ripped out the instrument panels i mean they did a thorough job looting this thing how about does it still have fuel it still has fuel we yeah, should they, siphon that okay <laughs> one so you have a pit stop you refuel as best you can so you get about a third of what's in the tank that's pretty easy and that that tops you off you haven't gone that far great okay let's maybe follow those tracks as fast as we can yep yeah so about an hour and a half later think you recognize the ramshackle collections of buildings from your vision ah that's so, where that's where they're keeping the other Ad Adinos. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you can, you know, I assume you want to park the truck or are you just going to drive it up to the gate? We should probably have a look around. <laughs> so yeah, park it somewhere and kind of scout around. Can we, jump, can we jump the gate? Is there like a ramp or something? <laughs> uh, no, <laughs> no. No ramp. I you really you really don't want to jump this thing yeah. <laughs> with your with your CAS transport. It's <laughs> it's like oh, 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 oh. you know, yeah. You might you might get it all the way up to forty seven miles an hour before you have to <laughs> attempt the jump. So so you're gonna scout out, so that would sound like you're going to make Oop. a find. Yep. Looks like we lost Gray or lost, Daryl. Uh, Daryl. We'll come back. So why don't you make a find there, folks? I got a six. Cool. That's definitely a gate. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a 14. Okay. So it's pretty obvious to see Aleka still attached up on the tower. And it's a little harder to see on the wall. There's like a mound of trash that isn't a mound of trash. There's somebody inside that mound of trash watching the road. Keep an eye out for that monster truck. It might be around here somewhere. Hmm. So we'll, uh, so you, what are you saying? It's a, a, a mound of trash that's not a mound of trash? Basically, there's somebody sitting inside the trash using uh -huh. it like as a, concealment. Like a deer they're blind. Just, yeah, basically. They're just up on the wall inside the trash, but you spotted him. So you know that they've got a lookout on the wall who's looking out over the direction of the road and where the tower where Aleka is strung up. Hey, sorry, I'm back. Yay! I don't know if that messes up our uh, yeah, it's, it's OBS. Right. I'm messing around with it. <laughs> no worries. It's monsoon season down here. <laughs> so you've got, you've got a watchtower and you've got a wall with an observer on it and you've got Aleka strung up outside the walls. Well, I think we should go negotiate. With a sword? With... <laughs> so We've uncivilized. To, we have to save Aleka. She's suffering. Yes, and perhaps the best way to save her is trading something. These people don't seem very reasonable. <laughs> I'm sure if you want to jump to conclusions. <laughs> I, I, I'm just imagining Adina's going, my savagery, less than this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you know, if we could sneak in and raid them, that's one thing. But with their observation posts, that doesn't yeah. seem likely. So what's it hurt us to try to parlay? Sure. I think there's answers to that, but <laughs> <laughs> their bullets might hurt us if we try to parlay. <laughs> right, but I mean, I think it's yeah. Let's yeah. see. Anisha wants to give it a shot. Daryl is perfectly happy for Anisha to get shot down on this, <laughs> but, but I'm bringing it up. Uh, let's do it. Talk first, shoot later. Uh, so we'll like drive right. up like just outside of flamethrower range or whatever and like honk the horn. Ah, you know. So you go back into the truck, you know, just pull it into sort of, you know, outside of throwing range, still well within shooting range. 
<laughs> yeah. Honk the horn. So you see the pile of trash stand up for a second. You All for service. Mm-hmm. And they come down, and I need somebody to make a lovely persuasion roll. <laughs> just another, hey, I, somebody just drove up to get robbed. I, 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 I'll, do, I, I think I'll do it. Like I'll, I'll like stand on the hood and say, we are here to parlay. <laughs> Go for it. Okay. Oh, 11. That's not bad, actually. Yeah. Willpower. No, but I'll stick with 11. That's good. We're here to parlay. Well, I can throw a supporter on that, Daryl. Oh, that'd be great. Mm. Wow. <laughs> I guess I don't need to, actually. Wow. <laughs> I, have, I have the dumbest. What does parlay? He's like, par- oh, like partay. We're here to partay. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We like to party. So <laughs> instead of hitting the alarm siren, <laughs> the watch guy comes down and starts cranking open the gate. <laughs> I hate to open the gate. He goes, yeah, let's ease on. What you offer it? She says, "Well, <laughs> what you got? I see you got a near dead Adinos up there. Uh, guy, that looks pretty interesting. Consider that our welcoming gift." We don't know how long he's going to take to die. He should be dead by now. Hmm. So I've got... Th- I'll take out the psychic wine. I got this. Oh. You what else? aspirant tech? Yeah, what else you got? What are you looking for? I mean, your rig looks like it's running. That's yeah, it's, point for you. Yeah, it's decent. We yeah. have ammunition. We got... We got uh, some prisoners. Yeah, got prisoners. Extra that's extra food. We're always looking for thralls. What do you got for prisoners? Uh, we've been grabbing a lot from the villages around here. Surprising how many are still left. Yeah. Like that's where Jawbone's out raiding one right now. Well, yeah, uh, we're definitely interested in trading our aspirant tech for some proofs for some thralls. All right. Any Let's see what you got. Before? What's that? Let's see, let's, see, let's see what you got. Can you take me down there? Yeah, sure. Why don't you pull it in? You can't trust anybody around here. Yeah, no, I totally <laughs> agree. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'll pull it in. She like looks back at the other two and like gives this big wink, like wink. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! So the good news is he's completely hoodwinked. Yeah. The slightly more unsettling news is the other marauders, when you walk into camp with this guy, yeah. <laughs> giving you the fish eye. Right, like, well, I'm throwing my like arm around him, and I'm talking the like... On their SMGs and their ALF sprayers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll throw my arms around, you know, guardsman, you know, Bob or whatever, and be like, yeah, we're talking like old friends. Mikhail. Like, He's Mikhail. Hey, Mikhail, yeah, like... I can't wait personally to go raid more farmsteads. <laughs> yeah, fun, buddy. Yeah, you're the cleanest marauders they've ever seen. <laughs> we're going to, we're some, going some to find I, strangers. Fight, but yeah, we're right? find strangers and take their stuff. Right? <laughs> <laughs> of course we're clean, my good man. Looking good has no quitting time, even in the apocalypse. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> Okay. He's wearing, you know, he's wearing a, you know, three quarters of a motorcycle helmet. And he's got padded armor, some chains across. Yeah, yeah. He's got a huge axe. He's striding out. He's, What's all this? We're here to trade. Mikhail invited us. Hello, fellow marauder. And all of a sudden, Mikhail <laughs> looks a whole lot smaller. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like, like, I was like hug him a little bit tighter, like, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're trading. So suddenly we're in the excess goods business. <laughs> and Mikhail's like, uh, well, yes. <laughs> I'll back him up. I'm like nodding, like, yup. And this guy just takes the axe and whacks Mikhail across the shoulder where he screams. Blood starts spurting. He goes down. He says, well, let's just say you have my interest. <laughs> it's like we were talking about. But why shouldn't we just 
take your lovely truck. What could trade get us that theft cannot? Well, theft is going to get you a lot of pain and agony. If, you, if that's what you're looking for, you came to the right place. If you just <laughs> want you know, the benefits, we could do this the easy way or the hard way. So let's, let's go with a trick. You're trying to convince Marauder <laughs> that pain and agony are bad things. Yep. <laughs> I mean, your own. For his, own, his own pain and agony, yes. <laughs> right. yeah. yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah, yeah, it's not going to work. I'm going to glare at him and say, interfere with us and you will arouse the wrath of my goddess. All right, I'll give you an intimidate because it is that kind of place. Woo! When I see when I see that this is sort of not going as well as we had planned, can I try to like maneuver myself to be in a better position to cut his head off in a moment? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can sort of sidle on up so that you, you are you you don't look like you're one step away, but at your leaping ability, you're one step away. Swing. Okay. Yeah, this is this is not going well. <laughs> <laughs> I beg to differ. This is going as best as it could have possibly gone. <laughs> Well, you got a six, and I got a six. So, yeah, I guess as good as it possibly could go is, is a way. That's a good way to describe We're it. inside the wall. <laughs> yeah, we made it in. Right, this is so, great. So, so, well, what happens when he tries to intimidate him? Uh, not that not failed. much. That, that, failed. <laughs> that failed quite a bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so as, it, as you, know, you know, when I see that kind of come over his face, that he's obviously not buying it. I'm just going to uh, draw my draw my electric katana and just say the oh, only thing shit. the only thing you respect here is strength, and I say, I'm just going to try to strike out at him. Woo! All right, we'll draw a card, but we'll say your action comes before the card action. Okay, because you started this off. So it's your all action. right. Not oh, like this. Not like this. <laughs> perfect. The villains have a setback, so I'm going to make him. I'm going to make your leader is very vulnerable to your first strike, Maru. <laughs> you right. go first. Go. All right. All right. So here we go. Um, this is my melee weapons. And so very vulnerable. That doesn't give me any bonuses or anything, does it? It, it lowers. It low Which is Effectively, lowers. I lower his defense. Gotcha. So you probably will hit. You're basically right. plus four. Yeah. So I got a 12. 16 with the very vulnerable. And then I have another, I have a card that I could add. Or no, I don't have a card. No, you can't yet. play it yet. Yeah. Okay, so then, so I guess a 12. 16. I'll, I, I will 16. actually roll that you can play a card because technically you started this action before combat started. All right. You're uh, so dropping the card matter. and start the fight. So I don't know if, since I have a 16, I don't know if plus three helps that. I have an action card. Plus three plus will three. bump you up to 2BD. Yes, it yeah, will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Can I add a supporter? He's already at plus two. Okay. It's already outstanding. So. All right, never mind. Yeah. All right, and so then I'm rolling damage plus two damage dice. That nope. is correct. All right. Yep. Nice. Plus two. Twenty-five. Woo! Oh. So, you <laughs> had spaced it exactly right, and so as he got, pulls up his axe and like gets ready to order his men. You just one step slide, take advantage of the ice, just clop off his head, slide past him, grab the head, <laughs> toss the head at the second of command. He just kind of looks down and drops the head. And you hear from the from the cooking hut, trade sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> trade does sound good all of a sudden. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That was probably the quickest combat in Korg history. <laughs> <laughs> one strike. One kill. That's right. So uh, you also, because of the law of domination, technically that is intimidate, you get to draw two destiny cards and pick the one you like, Maru. Uh, nice. All right. So and I think the so easiest way to do that. Uh-huh is you can pull them, pull cards from the deck straight onto the play mat, and then you can pick up the one you want and delete the other one. Okay. Oh, I see. Because if you just... want to take, take advantage of the, uh, the moment to uh, just go ahead and walk over to the effigy and start cutting down uh, Lashik. Okay, so you, you go back out and cut off a Leka? 
Yeah, let go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. At this point, you know, they're not taking orders from you, but short of that, <laughs> you can do whatever you want around camp. <laughs> yeah. So that was that was just not how they were expecting this was going to go. I actually want to apply some first aid to Mikhail, since he All got right. hit in the shoulder. Like, I'll see if he's like alive and can be saved here. He he can be saved. He, he, he's the type who has a wound, even. So, Well, I don't help him very much. You're welcome. Is yeah. Aleka alive when she gets cut down? Uh, it's a he, but yeah. Is he so, alive? Yeah, he, so when you're cutting him down, he looks at you, and he says, canisters. Horrible canisters. Sort of slumps onto you. He's alive, but he's, he is you know, dehydrated, starving. Exposure, almost bled out. You're not quite. You're pretty sure Faith kept him alive because his biological processes could not have. Eel. All right. Uh, which is a it's a it's a success. So one wound and all shock. Yeah, that's a success. Okay. So yeah, he's he's not going to be in any shape to do anything for a couple of days because even with the healing, he's just you know the whole bit. He's got to be warmed up. He's mm -hmm. basically KO'd. Oh, I'm he's, taking him into the truck. He's going straight okay. to the truck. <laughs> <laughs> just uh, watch out for the frozen body of your dead comrade <laughs> in, the back. in the back. Yeah. <laughs> so question there, Adinos. Do you know how to turn a truck on so he's not just sitting in a cold metal box? <laughs> nope. I have no clue. <laughs> so you, you just put him in the passenger side, shut the door. <laughs> it's like a you know, Barry Manilow tape. Just, on, just a Barry Manilow tape playing the whole time. <laughs> At least he's it. out of the wind, right? I mean, that's the best I could do. <laughs> that is true. So, because Oops. you you were interested in thralls, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so he sort of goes, he's holding on his shoulder, walks up. And it's like all the marauders suddenly have something very important to do. <laughs> you just, you just as you head to the barbed wire enclosure in the center of the camp. Yeah. And it's like, and your eyes gravitate immediately to that one. And you think back, oh, that's Miss Quincy. Looking worse for rare. But yeah. So yeah, like I'll I'll throw him the the mine, and I say we'll take them all. It's, they're like thirty two. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes. We'll take them all. Yeah. We'll take them all, and I literally just like go and start opening the gate like I own the place. How about four? 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 I won't, I won't live if they're done here. I, exactly. I put my hand. I put my hand on my sword. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> Eight? Yeah, by my count, that's worth 32. So that's what we're doing. <sighs> He's pretty thoroughly dominated. Um, sure. Open up the gate. <laughs> Pulls it out. <laughs> ah, you belong to this woman. Yeah, I'm going to head start to shamble out of the enclosure. And now the marauders really don't want to be. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I have no idea what happened. They're, <laughs> they're being as scarce as they possibly can be during this. So you've got 32 thralls <laughs> and Ms. Quincy. So uh, any of you guys know your way around a wrench? <laughs> so you've got you got to come and look at. Well, we we worked on we worked on the generators back at back at the hilltop over there. Okay, so then our plan is once we if if we can extricate ourselves from this peacefully, we're going to head back to that bus and get mm -hmm. any thralls with you know some repair skills to see if we can get that bus moving so that the thirty two can go somewhere in a vehicle. That's what we'd like to do. So Mikhail accidentally volunteers to put. Oh, that won't be much use with all the parts we ripped out. 
All right, you want the parts too? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> okay, I you do know, need one more intimidate roll out of Maru, who's basically providing right. the intimidation factor. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'll help. All right. Plus one. All right. <laughs> All right, 15. Wow. Noise. Yep. They're, <laughs> yep, they're yeah. <laughs> they basically know this is suicide. They're right, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, but it's also, you know, based on what these guys were doing, you know, you know, Maru killing their boss in one strike, they know it's probably suicide to stand up to us. So Yeah. <laughs> so they go in a open up a Quonset hut that's just got row and row of just crap. Yeah. But Mikhail knows this is way down as he pulls out just hey, here, here, he just pulls out the parts and there's uh, some spare wiring. <laughs> here, I have a welding torch, a little acetylene, <laughs> yeah. some additional plate repair. <laughs> it's just so basically, you've got 32 people to carry this stuff, which is lucky because yeah. yeah. he gets quite a bit of stuff by the end. Yes. Pleasure trading with you. <laughs> hey, uh, Good Mikhail, deal. You, want, you want to come with us? Yes. <laughs> Let's do that. Just walk away, and there yeah, will no, be an end to the horror. Right? He's, he's <laughs> with us. Seem like a good guy. <laughs> right? so, so he's like, uh, Jawbone is busy raiding a, another farm, so he's going to refill that pen unless you can go stop him. First things first, yeah. But yes, yeah. that sounds like a plan for us. Mm -hmm. All right. So you get onto the bus. The four people who say they're mechanics, two of them turn out to actually be mechanics. <laughs> Perfect. Hey. Uh, yeah. yeah. So you have this long montage scene of well, basically. I, I know, think we're going to leave them to it and we're going to head for that raid site while they're well, working. Just to set up, I need Maru to make a land vehicles roll since that's technically the right. repair skill uh -huh. and to see what. So she can put them on the correct path. Yeah. Uh -huh. just, just because. Oof. oof. No. <laughs> oh, no. oh. <laughs> like, oh yeah, they're fine. They're fine. They're good. Yeah. They're good. yeah. Wait, yeah. Well, basically, okay. basically, you leave them. They the part that Maru forgets is like probably having them turn the bus upright before you make repairs. <laughs> so when you reset the bus upright, you don't break all the jerry rig things you just put together. Think, but I, leaving that out, otherwise it's okay. I've got an idea. Like we're we're halfway to the raid site, and all of a sudden I. You know, shift and like pull the part out from under. Oh, is this is this important? <laughs> <laughs> it's like yeah, it's some kind of part, like the need. alternator. An alternator, yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's gonna end so badly. So, <laughs> you get back in your transport, and Mikhail gave you vague directions on where the settlement was they're going to be raiding. And you, by this point, Maru's learned the trick. As soon as she sees any sort of disturbance on the horizon, you know, she looks for cover. Pulls the vehicle in behind cover. You go up on the ridge. Take a look. And like, yep, there's another shanty town with walls and this vehicles, six vehicles circling around them, including the weirdest tanker truck you've ever seen. It has been converted into a battle wagon and it doesn't look like it's carrying fuel anymore. And uh, strapped to the front of that looks like it's Sabre. Hmm. Oh, is that the truck I saw in my vision? Yep. It's got three machine gun cupulas on it. Manned currently. And I assume we left Quinn with the bus. You left, yeah, Miss Quinn and I assume Aleka at this point. Yeah, yes. yeah. And did Miss Quinn have anything to offer before we took off looking for these raiders? Um, she would she would mention that you know when they were in Novigrad trying to find the smuggling ring, they ran into marauders who had that seemed to have a fluid that mutated them beyond what the normal mutations you saw in the blast lands into something absolutely ferocious. Mm. And they were trying to get samples and return with this when they got jumped by... Aleka, Aleka mentioned the canisters. Yeah. Are these so the there's something, and there are too many of them to just have been marauders 
who managed to bootstrap this. Something organized is building an army, a large one of hyper-violent mutants. Mm. Mm. All right, we're going to work on helping those people and getting Saber. You guys work on this bus so we can all get out of here when we get back. <laughs> we'll do. So as you hey, leaving the Arosh woman in charge of automobile mechanics, let's go. <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> They've heard of cars. It's fine. That's right. <laughs> so you see there, there are six vehicles circling the town. And what the town seems to be doing is they've piled themselves up into their own bus and sort of looking like for a chance to make a break. And every time they get close, you know, the bad guys start collecting at the front. Then the bus will roll to the rear entrance. The bad guys will collect at the rear entrance. So it's a stalemate right now. They don't, because the marauders don't feel like charging the, the walls and they can't get, the evacuees can't evacuate without running straight into the marauders. Mm. You've got giant battle ring, five doom buggies. Well, I say we drive right at them. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. <clears throat> maybe they'll think that we're one of theirs. Right? Oh. So you're going to yeah. drive right at them? Well, no, okay. not yet. <laughs> yeah. Soon. Okay. Um, damn, yeah, if we thought about it, we could have disguised our uh, yeah. our, our Tiger as a, as a, you know, blast of land, you know, marauder type thing, but we didn't do that before we left. So we could wait for nightfall. Maybe they stop driving in circles. We could wait till they actually seem to make inroads. Um, my real vote is let's wait and see what happens for a little while. And if it gets dark, let's try and sneak in and do something about it. I okay. like this plan. That sounds like a good plan. Hmm. Okay. So after about an hour of waiting, you tell that the, the circling isn't quite synchronized perfectly. And the settlers take their chance. They bolt out the back door, rev up their bus, and start heading east at the best speed they can make. The marauders immediately turn wheels, start giving pursuit. I assume you're pursuing them. Yeah, yeah I definitely. Got to get a piece of that. Like our, our objective here is to get Saber, right? That's what we're going for. And yeah. he's on the front of the truck. And, yeah. and also saving these innocent yeah, people. Yeah, of course, of course. But our, our ultimate objective is that. So I want to like, you know, as they all head off, whichever direction they are, I want to, you know, try to catch up to them. Um, is the... Is the vehicle that Saber on is on is like is that in the middle in the front in the back like where is it at? It's basically there's like a doom buggy in front of it, and then it's next, and we are now in a chase. Yeah. Woo! All right. Ooh, Ooh A B. So you could possibly do two. And we nice. got a flurry. And you get a flurry. Oh, this could be a brief chase. Okay. <laughs> so basically. The speeds and difficulties mod out, so ignoring that, you basically need to make a, to, to get the A, the vehicle's test of 12 means you succeed. If you want to do a multi-action, on a 14, you go A, B, which would mean you would catch the caravan at this point, because they can only go one, they can only go one. Um... Do you, so do you have possibilities, Robert? I do. I have two, plus I have a drama card and a hero card. So you won't have those in your pool for right, your role. Right. But with the possibility, you could probably get the two steps. Right. But also, I, don't, doesn't he get it for his second role? Because flurry happens at the end of the turn. Oh, yeah. So you can so, play one card, do it for a second role if he doesn't make the first roll. That is true. All right. Yay! I will do that. And then... Oh. The other thing that I would do, if you go first, Robert, mm -hmm. at the end of your turn, when you play a card, the card that I would play is your leadership card that I saw you uh -huh. have out before. Yeah. Trigger it <laughs> immediately to send those other cards.
cards into Ross's eye, Ross and I's hands, and then you get to refill your hand. So that gives you taunt, like a it gives us cards early, and b it fills your hand early. So mm. definitely, you want to do that earlier if possible. Okay. So so I this is going to be like a drive. What am I doing? Land vehicles. Land vehicles. All right, and then the possibility. It's just in case I need to re-roll, right? Or do it as an add? Can I spend it ahead of time? So you roll it and then find out if you need okay, it. Okay. Right, yeah, you would want to spend it in advance. All right, so here we go. 14? 14 is what you were looking for. Boom. So you, you, will, you will catch them this round. So that means you folks can do something useful there, the Dianos and Relic Raider. As you, I assume you're rumbling for the big truck. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Before okay. we do any of that, I would like Robert to do that leadership card. All right. Throw that leadership <laughs> card out. Yeah. And then trigger it instantly. So right. you're going to pick two of your other cards from your hand and give them to me or Ross, the right. one and one, or I'll give one to each. I have a drama and a hero card. Awesome. Perfect. Oops. Oops. Oh, Looks. Did yeah, I did. I wrote. No, I it, it, okay. it cool. stays out. Does it? Oh. Yeah, it's in your pool. And could you actually flip those? Give me the drama and Ross the hero? Thanks. And then um, and then I'd fill my hand up to what? Back up to four. Four. Just draw three more. Cool. And then do I roll again for that second? So first, they have to take their first turn, then everybody goes second. Okay. Right. So... You basically have pulled up even with the, the tanker truck. You see the people on top in the gun cupulas are declaring they're going to fire their machine guns at you if yeah. they get the chance. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Uh, and what I want to do, what, I, what I'd love to do, I, I want to jump from our vehicle onto the front of... The, the 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 big one, you know the the big bad guy vehicle. Okay. And uh, I basically, I want to do a trick in that I just want to like throw some crap on their windshield. Okay. You know, like I like look at my pack and I'm like, uh, 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 oh look, I've got the map. You, know, you put the map on the windshield. The map, perfect. Yeah, <laughs> the map. <laughs> yeah, like it unfolds and flaps on the outside of the screen. That's what I would like to do. <laughs> Okay, the all right, so you are pulling that out. All right, so roll a trick. Okay. Do you need me to roll anything to jump across? No, not not because you're you've exa I mean you've exactly matched the speed. You land vehicles roll was fine. You negated the difference and so I, I'm assuming you don't have to do that. I'm gonna you know, immediately spin that drama card. Modifier none. Roll with the three. The, the hey. trick is trick eighteen against the driver. I would assume. No, looks inhuman. Hmm. Yeah. I try not to judge. Yeah, that's <laughs> really, nothing really wrong with that. Says the Adinos. I mean, <laughs> so I'll, I'll tell you that's exactly the number you needed. Woo! Wow, for a success at all? Yeah. Yikes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Wow. So That's let's cool. go ahead and stymie him, I guess. Yeesh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and I'm, gonna, I'm also going to jump over to the truck, but I'm going for one of the guys in the cupola. Also okay. drawing a card. The are, you going for the front, are you going for the front or the rear cupola? We'll go for the front cupola. And, uh, you know, dead things won't save you now. I'll just jab a spear into the guy in the in the cupola. Okay. Uh, so we'll make a. Uh, oh, and I'm using my tail will wrap around the uh, the the uh, mirror on the driver's side there to to kind of anchor me. Okay. So melee weapons. Yeah, I'll uh, favor that one. <laughs> yeah, hey, it's a, even better that time. It's a, it's a ten. Uh, I think I will, 
I think I will play that. I'll use that hero card that's out there. Okay. So we'll go ahead and delete that. And possibility, no modifier, last roll was 11. So a total of an 18. All right. So give yourself a bonus die and stab the gunner. All right. Thirteen damage. <laughs> okay, I'm not dead. Woo! <laughs> yeah, but I've got flurry, so it's okay. <laughs> yeah, no. I'll probably be dead. <laughs> now we go for our. Now we go for our second action. All right. So, uh, um, is that me doing my drive again? You can. You now you you've caught up, so you've got a choice. Okay. You could try to like ram the vehicle but of course you get two of your two of your allies are on it you Three, can try to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah right <laughs> uh there are other vehicles as well yeah yep, so that are uh, going to be approaching okay um in that case i'll let them kind of handle that vehicle yeah and i will kind of try to focus on one of these uh, other vehicles and i'll just try to uh you know kind of run them off the road okay so you're just kind of time it so as it's approaching Mm -hmm. You're just going to swerve and crash it. All right. Yeah, yeah. You're going to force it to make. So go ahead and roll. That's a land yeah. vehicles. Yep. Okay. All right. Oof. A nine. Um, okay. Uh, I'll just fail. I'll just. Yeah. Okay. Well, it doesn't. It doesn't quite fail, mm -hmm. but it makes it. They'll have a pretty easy time to. Well, the nice thing is, so it's, it basically it's treated just like a test, so you can stymie them or make them vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Stymie could be huge because they can lose steps and things well, like that. It, a nine doesn't stymie them. Oh, so they didn't? He did not succeed. He did not succeed. Right. Oh yeah. So. <laughs> yep. Okay. So they are going to finally. Oh no! Wait, we have two other heroes. What are you doing? I am going to go ahead, and I'm gonna. You know, crawl onto the front now that I'm kind of covered by that map. And I'm going to try use my machete and uh, hack free or pry free um, saber. Saber. Okay, so he's not just tied. There are tubes running out of his. Yeah. <laughs> it's a <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> running back in, and he's just screaming at the slightest touch. I'm. I'm going to try to use first aid to see if I can get those <laughs> tubes out of him without doing grievous bodily harm. Okay. I will just, just for, for point of clarification. Yep. You're going to be doing this, untying him on the hood of the truck. Yep. If the Dinos does not take down the front gunner, he's got point blank. Yeah. Full yeah, auto. I got 50 it. Cal. Okay. <laughs> I, I've got that too. But I'm all like, like she's literally thinking, I'm on top of the engine. If he wants to 50 cal me on top of their own engine, he might not. He and might it, not. And if he tries, like I'll try and roll off the front, you know, and hold on to, to Saber. Is her that's her plan. Again, based on how I'm rolling, it probably won't succeed. But that's what she's thinking, you know. Okay. Here Maybe. we go. Wait, make, you your, make your first aid roll. Yeah, roll. You would like a 12. Okay. Nope. nope. Ah. So she's working on it, but nothing happens. You know. Yeah, nothing she's happens. She's taking her time. Yeah. Okay. That means we're left with the Adianos with a really critical yeah. spear. <laughs> so, so Moonwalker glances up to the front, you know, of the, of the truck and the, the, the guy he's, he just stabbed is like wrestling the machine gun around to try and aim at the front. And uh, I'll just kind of take the take the spear in a, in, a, in a slightly different grip, you know, choke up on it, grab the side of the truck so I have my full like three point contact for if you count the tail, and try to try, try to stab him right through the chest. So melee weapons roll, boom, that's a ten. I will I will just keep that and possibility it is what I will do. You're looking. You're looking for a. You're looking for a twelve to hit him. 
close. So that brings me up to a 20, and I'll actually throw the dr- – well, is it is a 20 uh, uh, outstanding or is that regular? You're That's regular. too shy. That's, you're, yeah, yeah. You're, you're at good, so you're plus one bonus die now. All right, so Two I'm going to use the drama card. I'm going nice. to use the drama card. You're, uh, so, you're... so the drama okay. card says uh, – it's, it's it's like, This possibly. is going against the gunner. It's not going against, like, the main bad guy. I know, buddy. He needs to go, or else he's going to shoot. He does. Carol. He does. It's all good. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, basically, is, is thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay. Yep. So forty-two. Twenty-two total results is what that's we got out exactly of that. Exactly your outstanding hit. All right, that's awesome. So yeah. now I take two bonus dice worth of damage for eighteen. He's dead. <laughs> all right. <laughs> nice. And I'll I'll just kind of haul him out of the chair and and. And the officer goes sprawling down over the side and under the wheels of the truck. Yeah, he just <laughs> no <Okay>. ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so you toss, you know, toss the villain to the side. The driver's side door opens, and this huge red skin monstrosity steps out, climbs onto the hood. Who's driving driver's the truck? Out. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> you know, the person in the passenger seat has slid <laughs> over. <laughs> All right. Woo. Village turn. Village turn. Yeah. So we're going to multi-action that so we have a chance of smashing Anisha because we just don't want to give her time in front of my truck. Right. That seems like unfortunate. Minus two because I stymied him with my awesome trick. Yeah. Yay. Here we go. My uh, modifier minus two. That still hits me. Yep. You got an opponent fail sitting out there, Derek. Yeah, uh, but that's just a regular hit. I'll take it. Okay. Yeah. And so. It climbs out, reaches up, and you can see that its lower jaw is completely metal. Mm, totally metal. Metal! <laughs> yeah. It's sort of malformed. And it gives sort of a hissing creak when it opens its mouth. It's like it's going to talk to you and changes its mind. <laughs> we cannot do that. So he does a total of 16 points of damage to you. Yikes! Yeah. Doing that's, opponent fails. Opponent fails. That's <laughs> too, uh, I've already taken it. So 16 is going to do a wound to me. Don't think I've got any possibilities, so I take a wound in two shock. Okay. There we go. Yeah, he when he strikes down at you, it's like this you hear this spinning sound. You can't really see what is grinding down on you, but it suddenly rolls out of his arm and strikes you. Hmm. What do you hit him with? His fist or uh... hit him with some sort of spinning wheel saw thing. That's uh. part of his body. Then the back cupula gunner is going to shoot at the Dianos in the front cupula. <laughs> Do I get some cover from the cubula? You do. Ooh. So you get. So what is your what is your dodge? Not that high. Uh, it is a total of nine. Ah. Even with the cover, that's still a good hit. Good hit. That's going to be unfortunate. Okay. Bonus on there. More. So, 16. So, I do 17 points to you. A toughness of 11. So, that's a wound. I will soak. Okay. With the reality roll. For 11. You do. You soak it all. Ah! 
And then we're going to try to shoot at Maru. Who's, who's shooting at Maru? The Where? the small the small doom buggies. The doom buggies. Hmm. Yes. Want to try to shoot. run off the road? <laughs> yeah, the two that are close enough are going to shoot. Their passengers are going to shoot. Ow! So, what is your what is your toughness, Maru? Uh, my toughness is uh, where did that go? Toughness. Uh, thirteen. Okay. So, we, so one they just drive, and the passenger side just opens up point blank on the passenger cab. You do have the door, so you get a couple points of armor as they basically just shoot through the door with their with their Alf sprayers. So it's not total. So you take one wound and two shock. All right. Next round. Boy. Yeah, now you hear a grinding sound from the back of your truck, Maru. Okay. So, sounds like something's going on back there. That, I look back. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Objects in the rearview mirror, maybe closer <laughs> than the <they appear. laughs> I shall triumph. Woo. Okay. Now that he's out. Oh dear. So we go to the dramatic scene. The villains are up. Oh. Mm. That's super bad. Mm -hmm. That is super bad. Hey, I'm pulling to defend. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, so roll we'll my go bonus. Jump. We'll go Jawbone first. Now I got my Lee. Hey, let me try to roll a better value there. Yeah. Do, 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 do. And he's going to try a no, call pl shot. plus one. Okay. He's going to try a called shot, which puts him down at negative four. But since he's up, he wants to knock your arms loose so you fall off the truck. Hello, come on with your weapons. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Oh. Mm. So now it's going to be done. So that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's a way he's up, so he gets to roll the up. Yep. That's going to be a modifier of plus two. Mm. Yeah. And he couldn't say, he finally, he finally says, it's time for a new hood ornament. <laughs> Ow. Now I'll play that opponent fails. <laughs> there you go. I, go I, 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 I can't hear you. Use the words. <laughs> so you actually get him to repeat the first three words. I said, it's time for <laughs> and the best part is, since I defended, and because I played the opponent fails, he missed. That counts as successful, successful defense. defense. So I get to draw a card, which I will do. do. All right, then I go back to my shooty shooters, but I failed my drive roll, so I'm firing at a negative two, even though I'm up. Well, we'll see how it goes for me. That's a great roll. That is fabulous. I don't think the up is going to salvage it. <laughs> <laughs> that just looks unfortunate. But now, what can you do? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oof. <laughs> Right. The magic Holy. works. Some days I don't. <laughs> yeah, we just uh, basically jam, decide that we don't need to fire that gun anymore. So that makes it the hero's turn. Well, I'll pay for my defense and put a card in my pool. Okay. The good news for Maru is the guy who is, you know, shooting into your cab has had his gun jammed. The better news for Maru 
is to doom buggy had to pull up right next to the cab in order to get that shot off. So mm -hmm. they're just sitting. Nice. Uh, Did you fire the, the couple of guy actually, the second couple of guy? He is he's yeah. No, he's doing something else this okay. round. Oh. I better it's go back the, here. I don't know what that is. <laughs> So seeing, um, you know, seeing this kind of dune buggy uh, off to one side of me, um, and then the uh, the big truck is over there. Is there any way that I could? Can I see where that couple of guy went from the front? Uh, from the the big. Dune? You were you were concentrating on the dune buggy. You were trying to smash. He was mm -hmm. on your left side. So no. Okay. But I guess go ahead and make a fine roll if you get great result. Yeah, you can see what he's doing. All right. Let's see. Not so great. Yeah, okay. yeah. So you don't you don't know what he's up okay. to. Well, in that case, I will just uh, since he's right next to me, um, I'm actually just going to grab my SMG and just kind of point it through the window and just. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um. So. Are you shooting the driver or are you shooting yeah. the? Okay. Yeah, yeah, the driver. Yeah. All right. Fire combat. Ten. That hits. Right. Nice. So, what's your damage? Damage, no bonus dice. Just 13, oh, right? just 13? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. I take a couple of shock. All right. All right, so uh, Moonwalker will go look where the, co the couple of guy went. Let's see if I can find him. Okay. Now, I'm uh, on the truck, so it shouldn't be that tough, right? I can just look over both sides. And... Right. He's not on the left side of the truck. He's not on the right side of the truck. I go to the back. He's no longer in the back of the truck. Huh. Can I make a fine test? Go ahead. All right. Nope, no, no idea. No, I just look. I I'll look over at Mario and look at the empty couple and kind of shrug. I'm like, <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, like, re, like, like on the front, like with this guy's hoses and the guy. And I'm like, how about here? Ah! <laughs> can I? Can I, uh, yeah. can I cast uh, I just, strike? I, yeah, I'm just imagining Mario, you know, watching the Dinos you know, walk away from the fight. Like what? <laughs> so. All right, I'm casting Strike on my spear. That's the last thing I'm going to do this turn. Okay. And uh, with a 16, that's a good result. There you go. Plus I'll two. Plus two damage, yeah. Okay. And I need to put a card in the pool. Let's see. Put Hero in there. Ugh. Ugh. We need some initiative <sighs> control. <laughs> <laughs> oh on no the, on the bright side we've got a c step so you can move up in the chase to towards getting away from him but on the downside they're gonna jack our ish up <laughs> yep it looks pretty grim oh hey defends up i'm gonna defend again <laughs> oh god <laughs> <laughs> I'm roll that right the hell now all right so basically, you've caught them. Are you saying you want to try to escape at this point? No, I think we're guiding. We need to get everybody. We out don't have escape. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. So my defenses are plus three this turn. Yes. I will. I've unjammed my gun so I get to shoot Maru again. Let's do that. I think I hit. What's okay, your dodge? My dodge is 11, yeah. Okay, but with the armor. So what's your toughness? 13. You take one shock because of the armor provided by the increasingly shot up door. Okay. And I try to slam into that. Ugh, I got nowhere. All right. So, Maru, are you going to try to get closer to your ending the chase? 
So you can try to get away because if you get to step D before they do, you escape, and you've already caught up to them. So I don't think we're trying you, to escape, right? We still need to get our people then escape. Right? So the nice thing is, like, like by getting the step C, you could sort of move up ahead of us, and then if we could jump to your car, it's easier to oh, get away. All right. Yeah. So let me. Um, yeah. So I, I have I have a flurry, so I I can do two things, right? You can. Okay. Yeah, just hang on a second. I just want to know if you were going to oh. pursue the, the thing, because I have to still try to kill Daryl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I guess if I'm trying to get it in front, that way, that way they can, they can yeah. move off. I'll try that. Well, there we go. Uh, that's a hit. Okay, but nothing special, right? So nothing it's just special, yeah. It's 14 points. Um... Ugh. Yeah, I will soak because I'll go ahead and use my drama card to okay. power my possibility on that. Let's roll my reality. Hey, it works. I could re-roll it, but I'm not going to bother because I got what I needed. So, okay. soaked. And she's not taunting for effect, but doing the like, oh, wow, good try. You're getting closer, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> Riling yeah. him up. And he, he just gets this little grin and says, you're not going to be in the grill next time. Right. Did I get you? Did I get you? Did I get you? Ooh, 14. So your dodge is 13? Who's you? Who's this for? Yeah. This is the arm that suddenly comes from beneath the cab of the truck that grabs Anisha's ankle. What? <laughs> it doesn't hit because I defended on plus three, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll take my card for getting missed. <laughs> oh, it's, just, it's just like this arm reaching up there, <laughs> trying to find out where you are, grabs Saber instead and tries pulling on Saber, which just results <laughs> in some screaming. Oh! So, yeah, all right. just moving around like, oh, <laughs> This is what I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Heroes get to go. I pay for my defend, and I'll put a card in my pool. Also, roll a surge, Daryl. Uh, no, that's... This is oh, more on the dramatic oh, line. Oh, we're on the dramatic. dramatic line. You're right. I'm sorry. My bad. We don't have surge. Yay. <laughs> so, Moon, Moonwalker is, is not a very technical guy, uh, but he knows that these vehicles move on large rubber feet. Yes, they do. So he's going to stab the truck in its large rubber feet. <laughs> <laughs> so you're still at the back of the truck, right? So you're yeah. going down, hanging on the ladder that's at the back, and yep. stepping at the tire. Here yeah. we go. It's a tough truck, just so you know. <laughs> the but tires, tires though, actually I have imagine much lower toughness. Yeah. yeah, I imagine they do. I imagine they do. So, all right, so it's a melee attack. And yep. uh, as as usual, still using my tail to balance myself here. Uh, melee weapons. Okay, that's that's not great. We will possibility that with the roll of a two. God dang! Yeah. Are you are you real. could just just fail this turn? Yeah, this your tail lets you re-roll that. Just re -roll Oh, that's it. right. I do. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I, I get I get a re-roll just because yeah, yeah, of the, yeah. Yeah. that's way better. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's yeah, just re-roll. Yeah. 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 Now that I think I will uh Yep. That's a ten. Does that hit the tire? Or do I need ten to does hire? not hit the tire. You gotta beat the yeah. land vehicles with the driver. That's fine. So what we'll do is we'll we'll possibility it. Go ahead. And now that was a roll of a twelve, which is you know much better to add. Oh no, I, I screwed it up. Sorry. Oh my god. I know I do that every time. I did the same thing. All right, so one more time. Possibility, no modifier. Last rolls of twelve. Submit. There we go. So a total of eighteen. That hits. You get. Oh, not quite a damage bonus. Okay, then I'll throw um, Hero on that. Okay. 
So a hero will add a possibility to the to the to the, uh, the twenty two, right? Yeah. So twenty two. All right. What an attack to the so trainer. now that's no, a twenty it drops top speed. So. Okay, so you have twenty. Yeah, twenty total of twenty. Okay, so roll a bandage, uh, bonus dice. You're looking for a total of fourteen to puncture the tire. Yeah. Well, I'm already. I'm. I'm starting at a, a thirteen. Well, I'll have to add two. I guess later because the uh, the the way this is built. But all right, so it's that plus two, so it's fifteen total. Nice. Okay, it's just enough. It's, because the spear is glowing, it's got like sort of a golden you know, radiance to the tip from the uh, the strike spell I cast. And I stabbed the freaking tire like... Yeah. So yes, you managed to, you know, even hold on to your spear after you jab the tire. It doesn't <laughs> get yanked out of your hands. And you burst the rear tire, so he's now stymied for his future vehicle tasks, which could be problematic because he's not that great a driver. <laughs> All right. All right. So, Maru? Yeah, Maru will... Um, I'm going to... Tr- uh, I think I'm going to use Flurry, so I'm going to try to get in front of them first. Okay, so it's land vehicles, step C. All right. And so, land vehicles. Here we go. Hopefully this works. A 10? No. Need a 12. Need a 12. I'll uh, play supporter. I just there you I go. Put supporter down. I yep. literally just put supporter down. So I'll play supporter for a plus three. Beautiful. Okay, so ba- basically you've got you got like you know the Dino's hanging up the side and waggling a spear into the rear view mirror of the driver who's like mm-hmm. looking at him instead of driving. As <laughs> nice. Maru pulls the truck in front. And as I'm as I'm kind of pulling around, you know, uh, around the front of the truck, uh, I, w- I want to try to take my uh, submachine gun and. Uh, hit Jawbone with it. I go, oh, crap! <laughs> <laughs> so, just so you know, uh-huh. we're in melee combat. Mm-hmm. If the number that you roll to hit him is even, mm-hmm. then you're targeting him. Oh. If the number is, <laughs> is odd, hard. it will hit me. It's harsh. That or, is harsh. or it could hit, it could hit yeah, the that's Captain true. Saber. Uh-huh. could hit now, ah. here's the nice thing. If you've got possibilities, mm-hmm. those add to the number, mm-hmm. which gives you more of a chance to get the even instead of the odd. Mm-hmm. Just, just, I ain't <laughs> saying don't do it, mm-hmm. I, but I am saying eh, it's, it's tricky. It's, it's, yeah. it's <laughs> the odds. Yeah, Robert, the odds are against you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I'll, just and so I only have know. one possibility. Um... <laughs> but you got a hero. I do have a hero. That's what I'm looking at right now. Uh, but I don't have... Actually, right no, now. that's Daryl. Daryl's got a hero. Yeah. yeah, I have a hero, too, but it's a, it's not out right now. So Well, Daryl Daryl could trade you his hero for your coup de grace. I could. Except you, this is a flurry, right? So you yeah. played flurry? Yeah, so you get to put a card in your pool from the driving action. Yeah. Okay. So I could do the hero? Yeah, yeah you're on hero. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then, so how does that help me, though? Meaning, it plays it as a when you exactly it plays as a possibility, so you've got yet another chance to get that odd that adds to an odd, makes it an even. Da, 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 da. All right, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I I really don't. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. <laughs> All right. So I get a <laughs> fail. All right. So so now I'm just gonna spend. Let's so here's it. Here's where we're at. Yeah, yeah. Right. You rolled a four, which means you're at least missing him, not me. Right. And it's a miss. Right. Mm-hmm. If you roll an ad and get a lot bigger number, but it now is adding up to an odd, mm-hmm. you're hitting me, not him. Okay. Or saber. Or saber or whatever. If it's still even, you're great. So totally up to you. I mean, technically, the guy in the undercarriage is a target, too, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> And technically, so, my dodge is really high right now. <laughs> and if I spend a possibility, can I still add the hero on top of that? Yep. So I can That's a great thing about roll again, hero. Basically. Yes. All right, let's do that. 
Okay. All right. Here we go. We're going to learn wow. a valuable lesson about friendly fire, kids. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. So it's a, now it's a six, still even, still a huge miss. No, well, no, hang on. That's a possibility. That actually counts as a 10, yeah. remember? So he's right. at 14. It's 14. Which is a plus two, so yeah. Yeah. Uh, fire combat plus two is what you're at. Do you want to add your uh, hero, or are you good with that? So it's a 14. That's So what? what's your fire combat skill? Uh, fire combat is a 10. Right now you're hitting a 12 dodge. Does that hit him? Yeah, it does not hit Jabo. All right. So then I need my hero to roll again. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, it does. Boy. It just it does. does barely hit Jabo. <laughs> I was looking at right. his other defense. Sweet. So that case, so I hit him. So then I can use my coup de gras? Yes, you can. All right. And so this does add a bonus dice. Yep, 13. So you're rolling, you have, you're doing your weapon damage plus mm -hmm. one bonus die. All right, here we go. Plus one bonus die. 21. Woo! Nice! <laughs> That's a good bonus die. die. Wow. Yeah, a jawbone went from overconfident to like, how? <laughs> oh my God, Anisha oh. went from confident to oh crap. <laughs> yeah. Um His bullets go flying. That is just enough to wound him. Nice. Yeah. And first blood. Woo! We are <laughs> like I'm bleeding. I'm like, what's this first blood stuff? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> first blood part two. Yeah. Um so he does not soak that. Nice. Oh, not really. <laughs> Probably leaving it to his regen. That's okay. We're going to get away. All right. So we now go to the next car. Please so, don't be enough villains up. Since right? That, since that was, was that, do I just get an extra action or do I get to put another card out there? Only an extra action. Just the extra. Okay. okay. Come back. Hey, heroes get to go, and anything we do is approved. That's bad. Nice. Yes. Maybe this will turn the tide. <laughs> All right, I want to sneak up the uh, the top of the the tanker and stab the driver. Okay. He he may not know I'm there. So, uh, is this a multi action to sneak up on him, or how do you how do we do this? You have to make a maneuver because the vehicle thanks to a tire being punched out, is no longer <laughs> stable. So All you right. have to make a maneuver, and you have to stab him. It's a multi-action. All right, multi-action, so minus two. All right. Uh, mm. So that's the, uh, that's the maneuver. It's one roll for both actions, right? Correct. Correct. All right, well, I'll blow my last possibility on this then. Or you could just you could terrible. just accept a miss. <laughs> Occasionally, I mean, modifying up a two, that's that's that's. It's a seven. It's a seven. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that means it's going to turn into at least a seventeen. All right. So that's the the total for the uh, the total for the maneuver is a thirteen, which is fine. And then the if if the plus four it does gives a plus two to the melee attack, which would be uh, twelve on the melee which, attack, which hits. So nice. you do your damage. Now, uh, is there a bonus for attacking guy that doesn't know you're there? He saw you in the rearview mirror, so he knows you're on the vehicle. Oh yeah. Well, and they're, they're usually, I was coming in from the top. That was the whole idea. Yeah. There's usually like I was the on best, top of the truck. The best you could get usually is like a plus two. All right. So whatever. Fine. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So that's uh, thirteen damage. Okay. So I am hurt. I am not wounded. All right. All right. But and I am when now. When that happens, be... when that happens, I'm going to throw my. Other Cosm card out there. And I stabbed the part of his body that has a little lead box and a little trefoil symbol on it, and I get radiated. Ah! <laughs> I take a wound. I take a wound, but I also gain three possibilities. Oh, okay, nice. there we go. Yeah, so you basically... 
I'm assuming it glances off his armor, which is why you did, and you jabbed into one of the one of the controls that has Vril. You just get sprayed with Vril, and it's like, oh! yeah, nasty. Okay, yes. so next, uh, and you get to draw a card because you succeeded at an action. Yes, and sure. any is the approved. Which is another good reason to spend a possibility there. You wanted to succeed at something. Yep. Cool. You want to trigger that rally immediately? Uh, yes. It helps all of us. <laughs> yes, I will. I will trigger that rally right now. So everybody may discard as many cards as they wish and immediately refill their hands. Boys. Actually, pretty good with those, but I'll take. Actually, I'll get rid of that one just for giggles, and I'll draw two more. So, Maru, do you want to go next? Yeah, so I will, uh, since I'm in the front, but it looks like I don't have, I can't do the D, right? So, um, I guess I will... Um, Is there, I don't know. Are there any other uh, any any other the other buggies around that I could uh, try to take out? Oh yeah, yeah. You you can just swerve out of the way, and as they're coming up around the swarm, you can just you know veer right or left and clip off a buggy. All right, we'll try that. Waltz on. Right, ask on ask him if he's got any gray poupon. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, Ten. Okay, so that's. Just mean that they will have to make they'll have to make a land vehicles test, or they will have a a collision. Robert, you so, got a hero. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and you? Oh, to re-roll. Um, to add a possibility if you wanted to. I don't have any more. No, you've got a hero card. Right, right. Yeah, but the you know right. if he spends his last it's fine. It's fine. potential it's fine. I possibility, just, I, I yeah. just wanted to be sure he understood yeah, what yeah, the. Yeah. The thing was there. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, and Greg, did that count as? Yeah, did that count as a successful roll? It did. It succeeded. So you get to draw a destiny card, Robert, because any action is approved. Oh, an inspiration! We get to recover shock, which matters for me. All right. So this All right. truck is just starting to rattle back and forth. Yeah. That busted tire. And the fact that the driver was stabbed. It it's having grave difficulty and it could tip at any moment. Right? So all right. So I have to make my exciting land vehicles roll. So we're still good guys going, yes? Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So I want to blow my wad and do whatever it takes to get Saber off the front of this thing. Okay, critical if he's moment. gonna be oh, oh no, I don't, I don't think I need the critical moment this yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not going to make that much difference based on what I got on my hand. <laughs> okay. Well, we'll see. Like, I might need to. But so you tell me, what do I need to do to make that happen? Is that going to be first stage? Is it going to be just strength? Because I want to get him out of there. And you want possible. you want a multi action of first aid and then just strength. You okay. want to make sure he doesn't. You want to figure out a way to not have him bleed as you rip these things off. Of him. Right. Because so, these are not meant to be removed. This is a it. one way trip. Mm -hmm. So multi-action, first aid, strength, and that gets him out, but not over to uh, our car, correct? Correct. Okay, but I'll do it. I'll take it. Okay. Okay. So are, okay. Yeah, you don't want to have to do. You don't have to do all three. That'd be kind of ridiculous. So I, first well, aid, ridiculous first is aid. what I'm here for. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go, I'll go with first aid maneuver. That probably works better for you. Well, that's great for me. Yeah. So go for it. I'll just, yeah, so I'll roll the one, and we'll start applying some things. Oh, I like that. I think. So, that's, that's. What's your maneuver? What's your maneuver score? My maneuver is 11, plus 5 is. That, that's enough for both. Okay, yeah, I'll totally take that. Yeah, like like yeah. <laughs> like get him out and like still holding on to the front. And I'm now looking for our tiger. Like, okay, how far up is it? Like, we're, <laughs> it's about time it, to get off this it, bus. It just it just veered off and managed to you know 
to cause a doom, <laughs> doom buggy to just about collapse, which we'll roll for now as we make our driver's rolls. The bad guy is so... And Anisha's like, Maru, over here! Over here! <laughs> yeah. right? Come close! A little bit closer! <laughs> okay, so do, the doom buggy, Robert, that you hit, mm -hmm. it swerves, doesn't quite make it, flips. Nice. And Skids you... along its top, the top collapses under the weight, that doom buggy is out of the fight. Whoa, we get a George Miller close-up on the driver's face. <laughs> yeah. Ah! <laughs> and more, more importantly is the guy who's had the tire shot out, so he's stymied, who's been stabbed, so he's very stymied, has to make a DN12 roll to keep, <laughs> keep the tanker truck upright that everybody else is on. Here we go. <laughs> so he only needs like a 16. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> A 38? He made it. <laughs> he's, he's like bleeding and sweating and his hands are trembling. He's like, ah, must not let Jumbo die. Ah. <laughs> okay. Wow. Jawbone's That's what you call loyalty. Yeah. <laughs> Jawbone's had about enough of this. So he gets up on, <laughs> gets on top of the truck. He's like, why don't we both leave together? And he conjures these two chains. He's trying to wrap them around both Anisha and Saber and pull all of you off the truck. Oh, Let's... I miss. <laughs> I missed by like one. Oh, because it's minus two? Is he trying to grapple? Yep. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> he's, he's trying to do, he's basically trying to grapple both of you. Yeah, multi-action and grapple, minus two. Yeah, so yeah. There's a, there's a slow motion chain yeah. going whizzing right by your face. <laughs> yeah, it's <just> like... <laughs> well, I like the sound of exiting, just not together. <laughs> and uh, other people are two out of far range. They're going to pull up to range this time. We go to the next turn. But man, yeah, Jawbone is looking increasingly perturbed. That <laughs> little, the little taunting that really hasn't been rolled, but it's beginning to bug him. <laughs> a <laughs> monkey on his foot who keeps jabbering at him and trying to take away his vril source. You know? <laughs> oh, heroes are inspired, so you recover shock. More and you get to go these. first. Maneuver and taunt are approved. Going nice. first is definitely good. So is it going to be a maneuver to jump from one vehicle to another? Particularly since you're carrying carrying Saber? Yes, it is. Then, yeah, that's totally what I'm going to do. I'm like, I'm going to be like, and I, I'm feeling it. I'm going to, I'm going to multi. Oh, actually, I can't, you can't do the same thing twice. I was going to maneuver to tag bad guy's chain while I'm at it. But no, I'm just going to get the objective to our car and myself, so... Yep, trying to jump us across with a maneuver. Okay, so I assume you're going to coordinate so you'll probably go after Marugo so that the truck can be slightly closer. It's, it's out of jumping range right now. Oh, oh, if it's out, then yeah, I'm waiting. Yeah, Yeah. okay, so I, I assume that... I could jump from a B to a C, but if not, then I'll wait. Yeah, so well, you can, so you can just go after Maru, moves the car, moves Perfect. the truck closer. Then I'll, I will definitely wait till after Maru goes then. Okay, I yeah, see... Yeah, she just veered left to, to flip a doom buggy. So she's destroyed a vehicle and now has to, you know, maneuver back in. Got it. Uh, yeah, now that I see that uh, uh, that she has the uh, uh, saber, I'll try to try to pull out in front or off to the side, whatever's convenient. <laughs> All right. Easier. Yeah. Well, right, you for you this is simple because you're ahead. <laughs> you've got the edge. So all you need is a ten on land vehicles to <laughs> no, pull right. wherever you want. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, that is not going to be good enough. I'll use my... Oh, no. I'll use my action card. Plus three there you to, go. to the total of your Perfect. tests. There you go. So you make it. So there's the inviting you know, open rear of your cargo truck with nothing but a frozen dead body in it. <laughs> it could be a softer landing spot. Yeah, All right, hero. 
adrenaline rushes, and uh, Anisha's trying to make the jump. Oh, oh look, a one. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing you can do about that. Under the wheels oh. we go. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Ah! It's like, okay. it's like, ah! Boof, like under the truck. Oops. Yeah, particularly since it's star cold. Oh. Right. I'm playing a critical <laughs> moment. I'm playing all my cards. Okay. Oh, do you have a second chance? I do. Then, yeah. Okay. That's great. Also, I have a season initiative, so fun. So you could play that leadership right now. Yeah. Well, uh, these, are, these are the cards. So season initiative is in play. Second chance is in play. Action is in play. And leadership, which uh, so I guess I refill my hand really is all that's going to happen there. But yeah. So so this is where it gets tricky with seize the initiative. So you, what you want to do is trigger your leadership, give the action to somebody. I recommend Robert. Give okay. the seize initiative to somebody. Uh, oh yeah. Oh no. Use leadership to give me second chance. Then I don't have to trade for it. Because at the end of this, you will have no cards. That's what playing for the critical moment does. Right. Okay. So you technically refill your hand, and then it all blows up again anyway. Right. Um, seize the initiative won't do anything now. Uh, and we didn't want it to. We wanted to go first. So Because I had seized the initiative, and I thought about it, and I'm like, no, no, like, let's leave this. So that one blows up. Leadership plays. Your hand refills, but then it also immediately de- fills because all right uh, sees the initiative but that's great that gives me the second chance which i'll totally take <laughs> thank you hey terrible roll but <laughs> not <laughs> a, a mishap fail. not a mishap not a mishap which means i can use my hero card to make that happen there we go <laughs> so let's do that and ad adrenaline you can throw adrenaline on there i definitely intend to So yeah, beep, beep, beep. Moonwalker says no as he yeah. go down. Like it just like the force of his faith, you know. There's like a ripple in reality yep. that spreads out around him. So Love sixteen it. doing multi action. That assuming that your your maneuver oh. is, is you're fine. I well, I put the wrong thing in there, so I got to burn my adrenaline to actually make it fine. So okay, but yeah. boom. But yes, that does. Yeah. Yeah, we so get I assume, across. I assume the way that nice. it plays out is that that first leap was one of those Tharkoldu psychic visions of you <laughs> leaping and just rolling under the carriage <laughs> of the truck, being smashed yeah. oblivion. You manage to shake your head and then gear leap. And luckily, Maru's pulled the truck just within leaping distance. You crash in the back of the truck with Saber. Well, she's about to, she's about to jump. It. She's about to jump. Walker goes, wait. Now, <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, Walker definitely saved her somehow. <laughs> All right, and on my turn, I'm gonna also maneuver to get onto the uh, get onto the truck. Jump. Uh, I will definitely possibility that. Make it, make it, make it. Sixteen. Yeah, there we go. So, I, so I, I do this leap, you know, from one vehicle to the other, land in the bed of the truck, and you know, hoist my spear up, you know, and do the kind of primal roar as we drive away. <laughs> ah, we haven't driven away yet. Hanging <laughs> on to the hood of his now hood ornamentless truck. <laughs> Is going to try to leap. Yep. Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Too bad we don't have an opponent fails. <laughs> <laughs> well, but we'd have to be directly contesting him for that to work. Uh, well, yeah. it feels like we're pretty close to that. Yeah, I, I had one, but, but that I didn't pull it out at the time. <laughs> and that card is super dangerous if you let it work on just anything like that. It's like, oh god, you know. Oh, he just catches your back bumper. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> It'll make him sad about there that. On the, and the, Robert, you can actually feel the truck doesn't quite pop a wheelie, but it comes <laughs> close. Like, whoa, and then you settle back down. 
And so, so we've gone from Mad Max to Indiana Jones. Or <laughs> driver who at this point is down to negative six. <laughs> yeah. So when he, he gives a powerful leap from the truck and you see the, the cab sort of twist as he leaves, mm -hmm. the driver cannot recover. And it slowly, inexorably, the tanker just kind of tilts over and then jackknifes on its side. Nice. You see all the snow popping up, and then the tank bursts, and this fluid drill just pops out, sprays out. The two doom buggies behind it get covered in drill, so they're not going to be going anywhere. That leaves you two doom buggies, and your villain has the remaining opponents. Okay. Woo! Woo! So that got rid of... Yeah, that guy was just slowly bleeding out in the truck. Yeah. <laughs> Inspiration for the heroes. Yeah. Any more action. But it's also a critical problem. So the bright side is, if you make the roll, we're free. That's step D and we're done. Okay. If you don't make the roll, we go back to step A. Oh. <laughs> Right. So don't true. don't screw it up. Yeah. So, <laughs> so if you can do no you, pressure. Yeah. Yeah. So let's let's do it. Let make his the final rule then, and have the fight in the back of the truck happen first. <laughs> All right, Daryl, do it. All right. So any multi action. So I think what it's got to be. <laughs> is uh he's um you said he's like kind of like gripping the the, the back of the car and pulling himself up like right. i want to like be lean down and i'm gonna do an active taunt this time and be like <laughs> ah it, it looks like you're having some road difficulty you know maybe you should go on a little trip and then <laughs> the second part of that is it's a maneuver where you know she's kind of like like leaning in where he can strike at her with his saw blade and okay. she's going to roll out of the way and wants him, if it works as well as it could, saws off the section that it's, that's holding him on. So, like, the whole back and <laughs> him, like, rolls off. Nice. Okay. Might not work, so, basically, he wants so that he'll strike, and then when he misses, he'll strike the bumper that he's basically resting on, mm -hmm. slicing the bumper and, and dumping, him into the, dumping him into the snow. Yeah, yeah. that's what she's going All right. here. Like, you know, we'll see what happens. Let's see how spectacular you can get. Right. So uh, I'll just roll it as a maneuver, and the taunt is also going to be in this. These are minus two. It's two. Now, if you're doing a multi action, and one of the things you can do is Oof. favor. Jesus, that's a crit fail. Well, <laughs> <laughs> what happens? So, what happens if you're trying to do a multi action? And one of the things you can do is favored. So you only get the favored bonus if both of the things in the multi-action are favored. Favored. Got it. Okay. And so you basically forget the part about moving out of the way. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like, oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. oh, darn. And he just gets this huge grin on his face. Like, <laughs> Hold that pose. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Adianos. Oh, God. Okay, well. Uh, you don't have to I, do the action, but, you know. Yeah, I know. I know. I don't have any cards, though, is the other thing. Um, you can do is assist Robert. Robert's got a hero card. He's going to be fine. <laughs> um, we got a guy in the back of our truck. we got to do something about this. So... I am going to. He's already. Yeah, it's not, yeah that's not going to work. I'm going to try to intimidate him. And okay. actually, we'll multi action with a. We'll multi action with an intimidate and a maneuver. So okay. the goal is the goal is to kind of lean over him with the spear. And say, you know, strike, strike her, and I'll strike you back harder. Um, and the, the goal is that he's going to go for it anyway, and the maneuver will be like me using the spear to lever him off the back. Okay. So basically, you're in a position so if it works, you will, you will stymie him, so if he fails, he falls off the back. 
Fair enough. All right. Yeah. This the odds of this succeeding are low, uh, but we will see what happens. Uh, I could hardly do worse than Daryl. So. <laughs> Setting a pretty <laughs> tough bar here. <laughs> That's my fourth one. Oh. Okay. That's, so that's, uh, that's a 10 on the Intimidate. The Maneuver would be uh, three less than that. So it'll be a seven on the, uh, the, so, on the Maneuver. Believe it or not, that succeeds at Intimidating him. Wow. Really? I thought you needed an 18 on that before. Trick. Trick. Oh, trick for He's trick. Super hard to trick. Oh, to intimidate. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll give him. I'll. I will stymie him then on that. Okay. So he's stymied. He's in he Paris, looks, So he's so the very glowing stymied. sphere is actually like looking. Yeah. He's like. Yes. Yeah, like, <laughs> okay. Like, super so not helping. She's like, I don't know. It's pretty hard. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Let's see if you can get your truck away. So let me recalculate the differential. So you had you're at C, you need to get to D. There B, they've been falling back, so that's the speed of your vehicle. So you're a 12. You need a 12 to succeed. All right, here we I go. A, I've got a card. So woo. And you see, so is the guy still on the back or did he fall off? He he goes after you, so you won't know. Oh, okay. But if you succeed, yeah. if you succeed, next, we get away from oh, him. Oh gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Okay. Yeah, so, he will fall off the back. Okay, nice. All right, so and you can yeah. play that card you drew immediately, Ross. Oh, no, let's not no, play that. No, no, <laughs> let's, let's not play Nemesis. Yeah. All right, so let's see. We go. Here we go. My, my land vehicles test. Yeah. Uh, oh. No. All right. But so I got my hero card. Yes. So yes, please. All right, let's try this again. And adrenaline. Yeah. And action, and so action. you can actually play adrenaline in action and automatically hit it. Yep. But so you got it, you got it without him. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Nice. Okay. So way way so, to close out is you managed to floor it just right, but you know you've got somebody on your back. So mm -hmm. you floor fishtail, floor yeah, fishtail, yeah. floor <laughs> fishtail. So as he's rocking, then the spear gets jammed in under him. As he's trying, as Jabon tries to shift his weight, you know, Moonwalker boom, pulls the spear back. <laughs> Tumbles him off the back. He gets one last strike at the downward face of Anisha as he's falling on back. <laughs> he's at negative. He's at negative four. I'm a, here we go with this melee weapon. I don't think he's got great odds. Oh, well, it's minus. Or if that's not built in, then I'm okay. So that has it has not built, been built in. So it's eleven. Yeah, he misses nice. barely. <laughs> and Bix, you know, leaves a deep gash in the rear bumper that's now kind of hanging down, and he tumbles away in the snow. Oh. And if you wanted to play the Nemesis card, he would make an excellent one because he is <laughs> super pissed at you guys. <laughs> I, actually, I, I, I'm wrong. That does hit me. So he gets to damage me on the oh. way out. Oh, okay. Well, I get... Uh, what's Loving, your toughness? My toughness is eight. Okay. So I do one wound, two shock to you. Well, let me try to soak that. Doot. Reality. Hey, I soaked. Yay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Maru's leaving them in the dust because she's finally figured out this snow thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But the doom buggies are still having a little bit of difficulty with that. And so you're just going away and you, you sort of pass the refugee bus and honk at them. You're like, hey, how's it going? Hey, good job, guys. Yeah. As you go, throw we throw that off. missing part out that we, that we <laughs> No, we need this. that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you'll be able to get back to Vojinsk with Saber and Aleka and Quincy. Yes, and the body of the other guy. They're in, yeah. Tatsuko went missing somehow, but hey, you can't be perfect. Yep. Four yeah. out of five ain't bad. I mean... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. three out of five on a corpsicle. So, 
Yes, hey, but we brought him. We brought I thought him I thought you were gonna buy it on that on that final fight. It looked pretty grim. Yeah, it was looking, looking it was pretty crazy. It was yeah. grim. It was grim. Yeah, but that congratulations. Was a moment. Yeah, Critical that's, moment. That's, yeah, that's, that was awesome. That was that's fantastic. the first act of Blood and Blasted Land. And yes, you eventually, as you debrief Saber, you'll find out that there are this these uh, mutants called the Ravagers, who are just taking the wastelands apart in a way that the previous little, you know, ones and twosies of the various Marauder Lords was not. This is a threat that the Delphi Council needs to stop. In the debrief, uh, Moonwalker is literally wrapped around the Space Eater. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like... So cold. Oh. So cold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. Well, thank well, you, Greg. Uh, that, thank was, you. that was awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, so All right. looking at, you know, tomorrow is the last day for the um, the Tharkold crowdfunding. Uh, I'm going to switch over to that right now on the screen. So it looks like we, um, if I can get all the way to the top, we have 792 backers and $169,199. So we still got 8000 more before we unlock the next thing. And I think Eric was saying there's still one more backer archetype available. Nice. Um, so if you guys want to... Uh, and if you guys are interested in that, check that out. Thank you all for participating in this one, for making it, again, exceeding any expectation that we had for where we would be at this point. It's amazing. Yes. Yeah. Great. Greatly appreciated. Definitely. Well, um, so for <laughs> Ulysses Spill, I'm Robert Aducci. Uh Thank you, Greg. Thank you, Daryl and Ross. Of course. Uh, we Thank you, guys. We couldn't do this without all the fans. So. Definitely. All right. Well, we will uh, see you on the Discord uh, and see you on the uh, Game On Tabletop. Bye. Bye. Bye.